Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Sign into Mr. Yi, my power is invincible. Chapter 61 Zhang Chongkang looked at the man in white who walked out of the stone statue, feeling very excited in his heart. Success. He really succeeded in summoning the clone of his ancestor. Among the stone statues in the imperial palace, there is a clone left by the ancestors, which has been passed down from generation to generation among the direct disciples of the Zhang clan. But no one knows whether it is true or not. Now that he was in a desperate situation, Zhang Chongkang could only give it a try. Unexpectedly, he succeeded in summoning his ancestors. There are ancestors here. What is there to fear about Yiling Tian, who is just a mere emperor? Ancestor of the White Emperor, this son wants to destroy our Zhang clan. I hope our ancestors will take action to kill this son and resolve the crisis for our Zhang clan. Zhang Chongkang suppressed the excitement in his heart and saluted Zhang Bai again. His eyes filled with endless murderous intent were directed towards Yiling Tian. Zhang Bai said nothing. He looked at Yiling Tian, who was standing proudly in the void, and a look of surprise flashed across his eyes. Little guy, your situation is a bit special. Zhang Bai looked at Yiling Tian with a smile, as if he had no intention of treating Yiling Tian as an enemy of the Zhang clan. Yiling Tian's heart trembled. This Zhang Bai is worthy of being the martial emperor who was once invincible in the Beidou Tianyu. However, this kind of vision is not something that ordinary people can possess. Seeing that Yiling Tian didn't speak, Zhang Bai asked curiously, Little guy, you have half the blood of the Zhang clan, why did you become the enemy of the Zhang clan? White Emperor, you should ask your Zhang clan people about this. When Yiling Tian spoke, he couldn't help but glance at Zhang Chongkang. Zhang Chongkang's expression changed, and just as he was about to explain, Zhang Bai glanced at him. Next moment, a ray of white light shot into Zhang Chongkang's eyebrows, causing Zhang Chongkang to freeze on the spot. Just for a moment, Zhang Bai had already read all of Zhang Chongkang's memories and learned everything that happened to the Zhang clan. He glanced at Zhang Chongkang, who had woken up, and said coldly, Foolish, I left a clone in the hope that one day I could defend the Zhang clan against the calamity of aliens, but you used it for internal friction. You were really excellent. Ancestors, Zhang Chongkang's complexion instantly turned extremely pale. Zhang Bai shook his head with disappointment. He looked at Yiling Tian again and asked with a smile, Little guy, in your current state, my clone shouldn't be able to defeat you. What do you want? Don't say that his clone may not be Yiling Tian's opponent. Even if he could really suppress Yiling Tian, Zhang Bai would not do it at all. In today's Zhang clan, some of the heritage he left has been almost exhausted by the descendants of the Zhang clan who seek death. Once the aliens return to the Beidou Heavenly Territory, the Zhang clan is destined to become cannon fodder. And the young man in front of him, who is half of the Zhang family, is the only chance for the Zhang family. He must die. Yi Lingtian pointed at Zhang Chongkang and said calmly. Zhang Bai nodded. He raised his hand and pointed at Zhang Chongkang. Zhang Chongkang's whole body seemed to evaporate out of thin air, and his body and soul were instantly destroyed. Zhang Chongkang probably never thought about it until his death. He will be destroyed by the ancestor clone he summoned. Killing Zhang Chongkang with one finger, Zhang Bai's faint voice instantly resounded over White Emperor City. From today onwards, Zhang Qingfeng is the leader of the Zhang clan. Do you have any objections? That moment, both Zhang Chongyang and other Zhang clan martial saints, as well as the Zhang clan disciples below, all knelt down to Zhang Bai again. I will obey my ancestors' orders. Zhang Bai then looked up at Yiling Tian and said with a smile, Little guy, what do you think? Can. Yiling Tian naturally had no objection. Zhang Chongkang is dead. His mother, Zhang Qingfeng, became the leader of the Zhang clan. By the time, he might also be able to bring the Zhang clan under the command of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. With the strong strength of the top saint grade force of the Zhang clan, he will definitely be able to obtain a massive amount of immortal dynasty points. That's very good, little guy, with your talent, the Xuanwang world should be your stage. I'll be waiting for you there. Zhang Bai said with a smile. Finished. Zhang Bai raised his head and looked towards the north of the Beidou Heavenly Domain. His whole person's aura changed instantly, and a supreme imperial power rose into the sky, making him look like a white-robed war god. That moment, 
Almost all the powerful men above the martial saints in the Beto Heavenly Territory felt the presence of the Almighty God. Since I was born today, I, Zhang Bai, will contribute my final strength to the Beidou Heavenly Territory. Zhang Bai laughed angrily, and immediately stretched out his palm, and the White Emperor Order that had been flying around him fell into his palm instantly. He held the White Emperor Order in his hand, stepped out with a whoosh, and disappeared into the sky in an instant. Next moment, Zhang Bai's figure appeared at the end of the endless sea in the north of the Beidou Sky Territory, and then stepped alone into a huge space vortex in the void. After a while, I saw the White Emperor Order broken into two halves, falling from the space vortex. Immediately afterwards, an extremely angry roar came from the swirling space. Ah, Zhang Bai, you use your avatar to kill the first emperor of our clan. When our clan returns to the Beidou Heavenly Territory, we will definitely kill the nine Zhang families of yours. Yi Lingtian stood proudly above the Zhang clan, looking at the distant north. Because the power of the character card has not disappeared, Yi Lingtian, who has the strength of the Emperor Realm, can naturally sense everything happening in the north. In the north of Beidou Tianyu, extremely powerful alien races are also sealed. Zhang Bai stepped into the sealed world alone and instantly killed an alien martial emperor. Instantly kill the martial emperor with a clone. The White Emperor, who was once invincible in Beidou Tianyu for an era, truly lived up to his reputation. Dot dot dot. Zhang Bai was suddenly born, and went to the sealed world in the endless sea in the north alone to kill the alien emperor, which instantly alarmed many top powerhouses in Beidou Tianyu. Three Dao emperors arrived in the endless sea in the north almost at the same time. They looked at the huge space vortex in the sky, exchanged glances with each other, and their expressions became extremely solemn. White Emperor Zhang Bai's clone suddenly appeared. Enter the sealed world alone and kill an alien martial emperor for the human race in Beidou Tianyu. The dark age of the Xuanwang Great World is coming again. South of White Emperor City. The holy mountain of Liang. Burning Heaven Holy Land. In a fiery land composed of magma, an old man in red robe who was meditating with his eyes closed seemed to sense something. He suddenly opened his eyes and looked in the direction of White Emperor City. The scent of Martial Emperor. White Emperor Zhang Bai's clone left in the Zhang clan is born. Zhang Bai, back then you cut off the imperial path of our ancestor and destroyed the foundation of my burning sky holy land. You made it so that no one in my burning sky holy land could break through the martial emperor. I, burning sky holy land, will remember this in my heart for generations to come. After waiting for so many years, I finally waited for this moment. Without your Zhang Bai clone, I want to see who can stop me from burning heaven holy land from destroying white emperor city. The red-robed old man's solemn words fell, and his figure disappeared into the magma world in a flash. White Emperor City, Zhang Clan Imperial Palace, under Zhang Changyang's arrangement, Yi Lingtian came to a side hall to rest. Young friend Yi, please rest here for a while. I will invite your mother to come and meet you. Zhang Changyang said with a smile. Yi Lingtian nodded and said nothing more. After Zhang Changyang left, the time to use Yi Lingtian's outstanding character card soon came. His cultivation level has reached the level of intermediate martial saint without any surprise. Next comes the draw. Ding! Congratulations to the master for obtaining the Tai World Shattering Sword. The Tai World Breaking Sword is a unique skill that can cut off even the will of God. With Yi Lingtian's current strength, although it is far from being able to cut off God's will, once it is displayed, almost no one under the Martial Emperor can resist it. This Beidou Heaven Realm is indeed not comparable to the Mortal Realm. Even if the spiritual power of the world in the Northern Wilderness region has increased a lot, it still can't be compared with the Beidou Heavenly region. After meeting my mother, it's time to establish the Qingyun Holy Dynasty in Beidou Tianyu. Yi Lingtian muttered to himself. As his cultivation level continues to approach the Emperor Realm, it is difficult to meet Yi Lingtian's needs just by synthesizing excellent character cards. The next goal is to synthesize peerless character cards. The chance of obtaining peerless character card fragments by signing in is not high, and the universal peerless fragments also require a large amount of immortal dynasty points to redeem. If you want to synthesize a peerless character card, you need a large amount of immortal dynasty points. In the Northern Wasteland, the speed at which Yi Lingtian gained immortal dynasty points was far from enough. 
only by establishing the Qingyun Holy Dynasty in the Beidou Heavenly Territory and conquering a large number of strong men in the Beidou Heavenly Territory can Yiling Tian have the Immortal Dynasty points to synthesize peerless character cards in the shortest possible time. Sister Tongzi, I remember that after being promoted to the Holy Dynasty, there seems to be a third new function, right? Yiling Tian suddenly thought of something and couldn't help but ask in his heart. When the Immortal Dynasty mode was promoted to Holy Dynasty, Yi Lin was in danger, and Yi Ling Tian didn't even have time to ask what the third new function was. Master, the third new function is the advanced synthesis of character cards. Three identical excellent character cards can be combined into a permanent outstanding character card. The permanent character card can be used by specifying a target. After use, the Emperor Realm will be permanently obtained. Lo Li Tongzi explained to Yi Ling Tian. When Yi Ling Tian heard this, he couldn't help but take a deep breath. Doesn't this mean, in the future, he only needs three identical excellent character cards to create a martial emperor? As long as you have enough immortal dynasty points. Martial emperor can even be mass-produced. Master, although the permanent outstanding character card can allow the designated target to have the cultivation of the emperor realm, it also has a drawback, that is, it can only stay in the emperor realm forever and there is no possibility of breakthrough. Please use it with caution, master. Yi Ling Tian understood clearly. That is to say, permanent outstanding character cards can only be used on people who are not very talented. For example, peerless geniuses like Yu Wushuang and Yi Lin, who have the potential to surpass the emperor realm, cannot use permanent outstanding character cards. This advanced synthesis function is still very good. Wait until he breaks through the Martial Emperor. Just spend some Immortal Dynasty points and get some permanent excellent character cards. By the time, if you want to sweep across the entire Beidou Heavenly Territory, isn't it easy to do so? Da da da. Just as Yi Ling Tian was understanding the new functions of the system, there was a burst of rapid footsteps in his ears. Yi Ling Tian looked up and saw a peerless woman walking quickly into the room. She has a peerless beauty with long black hair flowing down her shoulders like a waterfall, and her whole body exudes an aura of grace and luxury. Although Yi Ling Tian's soul is no longer the same Yi Ling Tian, his body has not changed at all. He could still feel the feeling of blood connection from the peerless woman. No doubt, the peerless woman in front of him was his mother Zhang Qingfeng. Tianer, is that you? Zhang Qingfeng looked at Yi Ling Tian in the room, with an extremely excited look in her beautiful eyes. My child, Yi Ling Tian, pays homage to my mother. Yi Ling Tian saluted Zhang Qingfeng. Tianer, get up quickly. Zhang Qingfeng quickly helped Yi Ling Tian up, her eyes looking very soft. After I gave birth to you, I was worried that the Zhang clan would find the Northern Territory, so I left you. You don't blame me, right? My mother was just trying to protect me and my father. If not, my father and I might not be alive today. Yi Ling Tian smiled slightly and then asked, Where is my father? When the Qingyun dynasty fought against the Hanfang dynasty, my father was rescued by a mysterious strong man. You should be the one who stayed with your father, right? The strong man who rescued your father was indeed left behind by me. When they returned to the Beidou Heavenly Territory, they were discovered by the Zhang clan. Ancestor Chong Yang released them. Now I don't know where they are hiding. Zhang Qingfeng said in a deep voice, Tianer, don't worry, when I take over as the leader of the Zhang clan in three days, I will find a way to find them. Yi Ling Tian smiled slightly and said, Congratulations, mother. If it weren't for you, Tianer, I wouldn't be qualified to be the leader of the Zhang clan. When Zhang Qingfeng said this, an unconcealable exclamation flashed across her eyes. She didn't expect it anyway. Yi Ling Tian, who grew up in a low-end mortal realm such as the Northern Wilderness region, has grown to such an extent in just 20 years. After a conversation with Zhang Qingfeng, Yi Ling Tian originally planned to go back to the Northern Wilderness Territory to make arrangements for the Northern Wilderness Territory and then focus his development on the Beidou Heavenly Territory. Now that the Zhang clan will hold a clan leader succession ceremony for his mother in three days, Yi Ling Tian can only wait until three days before leaving. The next three days, the entire Zhang clan became busy because of the clan leader's succession ceremony. Yi Ling Tian was the only one who seemed extremely leisurely. While waiting so leisurely, three days passed by in a flash. This day, the main hall of the Zhang clan imperial palace. 
all the high-ranking powerful men of the Zhang clan, headed by Zhang Chongyang, gathered here. The succession ceremony of the new leader of the Zhang clan was also held grandly under the auspices of Zhang Chongyang. After a complicated ceremony, Zhang Qingfeng, dressed in a phoenix crown and rosy robe, finally received the Zhang clan's patriarch's token, entered the main hall of the Zhang clan's imperial palace, and became the new generation leader of the Zhang clan. The ceremony is over. Yi Lingtian was about to step forward to congratulate Zhang Qingfeng and say goodbye to Zhang Qingfeng, but he felt something keenly. He couldn't help but suddenly raised his head and looked towards the void outside White Emperor City. There, an old man in red robe with an explosive hairstyle, like a red-haired Lion King, stepped out of the void. The red-robed old man looked down at White Emperor City from a high position, and his strange laughter echoed in the sky above White Emperor City. Jia Jia, what a grand ceremony for the succession of the clan leader. The burning sky holy land came to congratulate the Zhang clan and presented them with a purple gold coffin. As the red-robed old man's strange smile resounded over White Emperor City. A purple gold coffin made of an unknown material fell from the sky and landed outside the main hall of the Zhang clan's underground palace. Boom, the entire Zhang clan imperial palace trembled violently. This sudden scene immediately caused the expressions of everyone in the Zhang clan to suddenly change. They looked up. I saw a red-faced, ferocious-looking old man in red robes with curly temples, standing proudly in the void. Behind the old man in red robe, there was a space door that was forcibly torn open, and figures in red with strong auras kept flashing out of the space door. Look at the clothes of these strong men in the void. Almost everyone in the Zhang clan reacted immediately. Burning heaven holy land, their sworn enemies from the Zhang clan have come to attack White Emperor City. Old Ghost Huian, what do you mean? Zhang Chongyang looked up at the red-robed old man in the sky, his expression instantly becoming frightened and angry. Recently, because of Zhang Chongkang's wrong decision, the Zhang clan lost three strong men in the martial saint realm. Especially the battle three days ago. Almost all the heritage left by ancestor Zhang Bai was consumed by Zhang Chongkang, which can be said to be a serious loss of vitality. That's why, the Zhang clan has been acting very low-key recently. Even the grand ceremony for the succession of the clan leader was only held internally by the Zhang clan, and no forces were invited to watch the ceremony. But I didn't expect it. The fire elder ghost of Burning Sky Holy Land came to the door with Burning Sky Holy Land at this moment. The Zhang clan and the Burning Heaven Holy Land have been in a state of hostility as early as the time of their ancestor Zhang Bai. Later, the ancestor of Fenshin Holy Land, who had great hope of entering the Emperor realm, fell into the hands of his ancestor Zhang Bai. Obviously, the fact that Zhang clan's vitality was severely damaged could not be hidden from the eyes of Burning Heaven Holy Land. This old ghost Huian wants to take advantage of the fact that the Zhang clan's vitality is severely damaged and deliver another fatal blow to the Zhang clan. Zhang Chongyang, I didn't expect that your Zhang clan would be where you are today. The old ghost Huian smiled solemnly and said, What Zhang Bai did to the Burning Sky Holy Land back then, I, the Burning Sky Holy Land, will take back tenfold from your Zhang clan today. Back then, their ancestor of the Burning Heaven Holy Land was a half-emperor who surpassed the top-level martial god. Only one imperial-level skill is needed to condense the will of the martial emperor, comprehend the imperial law of martial arts, and become a true martial emperor. Later, Patriarch Fenshin finally obtained an emperor-level technique. But just as Patriarch Fenshin was practicing this emperor-level technique to break through the emperor realm, he was suppressed by Zhang Bai. What makes Burning Heaven Holy Land most desperate is. Ancestor Fenshin didn't even have time to leave behind the Emperor-level skills. The hope of the younger disciples of Fenshin Holy Land to break through the Emperor realm was also ruined by Zhang Bai. Such deep hatred has always been deeply ingrained in the hearts of every generation of Burning Heaven Holy Land disciples. That's why, when he learned that something happened to the Zhang clan and their vitality was severely damaged, old monster Huo Yun came to the door immediately. Old ghost Huian, back then you ancestors of the Burning Heaven Holy Land practiced evil arts, which harmed Tianhe, and you were killed by my ancestors of the Zhang clan. It was your own fault. Zhang Chongyang shouted coldly. If our ancestors hadn't remembered your Burning Heaven Holy Land for your merits in resisting the foreign races, do you think your Burning Heaven Holy Land could have been passed down to this day? 
Yeah, in this case, today I will rush into the Zhang clan imperial palace and go to Zhang Baiyi's memorial tablet to thank him for his kindness of not killing. The old ghost Huian just finished speaking. A powerful and fiery aura swept over White Emperor City directly and overwhelmingly. In the hundreds of miles of void above White Emperor City, the clouds turned into a strange fiery red. Flames that can burn the space are falling like raindrops towards the bottom of White Emperor City. Zhang Chongyang roared angrily, and his whole body jumped up into the sky. A sun god's light filled with destructive power instantly illuminated the sky for hundreds of miles. Whether it was the flames that fell like raindrops or the red fire clouds in the void, they were annihilated into nothingness under the light of this domineering sun. Old Ghost Huian, even if our Zhang clan's vitality is severely damaged, it is not something that you, burning heaven holy land, can humiliate. Zhang Chongyang slowly came to Huian Old Ghost and shouted coldly. We are all top-level martial saints. He, Zhang Chongyang, became famous even earlier than Old Ghost Huo Yun, so naturally he is not the least bit afraid of Old Ghost Huo Yun. Only, Zhang Chongyang felt an inexplicable uneasiness in his heart. Since this old guy dares to blatantly come to White Emperor City, he must have something to rely on. Jia Jia, you are worthy of being one of the oldest top-level martial saints in Beidou Tianyu. If you are also in the martial saint realm, I really can't do anything to you. The old ghost Huian smiled ferociously, and immediately his handprints changed. The surrounding heaven and earth gathered crazily towards Huian old ghost, and finally turned into a sea of fire. The old ghost Huian continued to swallow the power in the sea of fire, and his body quickly expanded at a speed visible to the naked eye. When the sea of fire was completely swallowed up, old ghost Huian transformed into a flame giant that was a thousand feet tall and burning with red flames. A powerful sense of oppression, superior to that of the martial saint, instantly spread from the flame giant. The body of martial emperor. You. Dot you have broken through the half emperor. Zhang Chongyang looked at the thousand foot giant transformed by the old flame ghost, and finally couldn't help but screamed out. This moment, even Zhang Qingfang and other senior leaders of the Zhang clan couldn't help but change their expressions in shock. In the Xuanwang Great World, some top-level martial saints cannot condense the imperial will and master the imperial law because they do not have the imperial inheritance, but they can physically break the limits of martial saints and cultivate the body of a martial emperor. Such an existence is also called a half-emperor. Half-emperor. Although it is far inferior to the real martial emperor, it is still close to the emperor and cannot be compared with the martial emperor. Now that old ghost Huian has broken through to the half-emperor, what can the Zhang clan do to compete with him? Ha ha, Zhang Chongyang, I have been practicing hard in the magma world for thousands of years, and finally condensed the body of the martial emperor, just for this moment today. Without the trump card left by Zhang Bai, what can your Zhang clan do to compete with this emperor? The old ghost Huian laughed wildly, and immediately turned his palm, and a flaming palm print that could burn the world was directed towards Zhang Chongyang to suppress it. Zhang Chongyang's eyes were solemn. He took a deep breath, and a look of determination flashed across his old face. At this moment, Zhang Chongyang knew that he could not retreat. Once he retreats, how can the White Emperor City withstand the attack of a half-emperor without the city's protective formation? However, just when Zhang Chongyang was about to fight for his life, a world-destroying sword light that seemed to transcend space and time rose from the White Emperor City into the sky and slashed at the suppressing flaming palm prints. Click. The flame palm print immediately split into two, and then exploded in the void. Um, seeing his palm prints being chopped into pieces with a sword, old ghost Huian's pupils couldn't help but shrink suddenly. He is now a half-emperor with the body of martial emperor. In the imperial body state, even a top-level martial saint like Zhang Chongyang would have a hard time resisting his full-strength palm. Not to mention that a sword smashed his palm print into pieces. How could there be such a powerful being among the Zhang clan? Old Ghost Huian looked towards the Zhang clan imperial palace below, and his eyes were directly locked on Yiling Tian. Boy, who are you? Old Ghost Huian was shocked. The youngest sword master of the Zhang clan, shouldn't he be the genius sword master Zhang Qianan who broke through to the martial arts realm when he was less than 300 years old? When did such a young sword master appear again? But even if the sword master's combat power is enough to be proud of his peers, 
it's impossible to cut off the palm prints he used with his imperial body with one sword, right? This is simply incredible. This little guy's own fighting power is actually so terrifying. Zhang Chongyang came back to his senses with a look of shock as well. Although Zhang Chongyang also knew that Yi Lingtian was now a sword master. But that day, Yi Lingtian came to the Zhang clan alone. Apart from fighting Zhang Yuan for a single move, he directly used the imperial will to forcefully destroy the city defense formation left by his ancestors. However, at this moment, Zhang Chongyang can be sure that Yi Lingtian does not have any imperial intention attached to him at all. That is to say, Yi Lingtian himself already possesses terrifying combat power that surpasses that of a top-level martial saint. Today is the day that my mother takes over as the leader of the Zhang clan. I don't want to kill anyone. Yi Lingtian looked up at old ghost Huian and said calmly, Old guy, I don't care who you are, as long as you have some sense, get out of here right away. Old ghost Huian's eyes were gloomy. He is a half-emperor who has condensed his imperial body. Under the martial emperor, he is absolutely invincible. The only thing in the entire Zhang clan that old ghost Huo Yun is afraid of is the methods left by white emperor Zhang Bai. Although old ghost Huian didn't know it clearly. What method did this kid use just now to crush his attack with one sword? But he really didn't believe that this kid could have strength comparable to that of a half-emperor. Boy, who do you think you are? How dare you act arrogantly in front of this emperor? The old ghost Huian stared at Yi Lingtian angrily, and his already fierce face became even more ferocious at this moment. His huge flaming palm struck the air again. Boom! The monstrous power of the flames instantly turned into a waterfall of flames that penetrated the sky and the earth, pouring down from the sky like the Milky Way bursting its banks, overwhelming the sky and flooding the White Emperor City. If this blow were to fall, it would probably be enough to turn the entire White Emperor City into a sea of fire. Sister Tongzi, synthesize the excellent Yi Fan. Yi Lingtian's eyes narrowed and he directly used the excellent character card. The power of the half-emperor is still very powerful. With Yi Lingtian's current strength and various amazing divine abilities, he is enough to compete with the half-emperor Huian Old Ghost, but it is difficult to defeat him. With the immortal dynasty points he now has, he no longer has any pressure to use excellent character cards. Yi Lingtian didn't bother with so, -so either. He didn't even synthesize the local strongman of Xuanwang Great World, who had the most fragment cards, but synthesized Yi Fan, who only had five fragment cards. There are tens of millions of fantasy novels, and the boss surnamed Yi accounts for half of them. And this Yi Heavenly Emperor is a well-deserved leader even among the many bosses named Yi. This Yi Heavenly Emperor, who suppresses the world forever and is invincible across nine heavens and ten lands, is undoubtedly a big boss named Yi that Yi Lingtian likes very much. The reason why excellent level Yi Fan was synthesized. The main reason was that Yi Lingtian discovered that his cultivation level had reached the level of intermediate martial saint. If he doesn't synthesize the excellent Yi Fan, after he breaks through the emperor realm, he may not have the chance to use this character card. After possessing the power of excellent Yi Fan, Yi Lingtian just put his hands on his back and rose into the air step by step, heading straight towards the waterfall of flames pouring down. Every time he took a step, the flame waterfall quickly annihilated hundreds of feet. Just for a moment, the thousand-foot flaming waterfall quickly annihilated into nothingness. The emperor's will is added. Feeling the terrifying aura on Yi Lingtian's body that was no less than that of the martial emperor, old ghost Huian's expression instantly became horrified. The emperor's will comes. This means, the golden-robed young man in front of me has a living ancestor, the martial emperor direct bloodline of martial emperor. As far as he knows, the Zhang clan has almost nothing to do with the few martial emperors living in the Beidou Tianyu. How could this direct bloodline of the martial emperor appear in the Zhang clan? Tianer can really summon the emperor's will to join him. Zhang Qingfeng stared at the scene in front of her with wide beautiful eyes, and she couldn't believe her eyes. Although he had heard the Chongyang saint ancestor mention this matter, he was still deeply shocked after seeing it with his own eyes. She stayed in the Yi family for several years. It can be said that they know the family behind Yi Lingtian very well. Even if the Yi family tree goes back dozens of generations, there has never been a martial emperor. Not to mention the living martial emperor. 
Zhang Chongyang's eyes were fixed on Yi Lingtian who had the imperial intention, and he felt that his scalp could not help but feel numb. If there was anyone present who was the most shocked, it was Zhang Chongyang. As a top-level martial saint, Zhang Chongyang's perception of breath is naturally very keen. He could feel it clearly. Yi Lingtian's aura of imperial will this time was completely different from the aura of the imperial will summoned by the Zhang clan last time. That is to say, there have been at least two martial emperors in Yi Lingtian's ancestors, and they are both still alive. One clan, two emperors. This has never happened before in the Beidou Heavenly Territory. Thinking of what his ancestor said to Yi Lingtian, Zhang Chongyang had a terrible guess in his mind. Could it be, the family behind Yi Lingtian is a super family from the Xuanwang world? Just when Zhang Chongyang was thinking crazily, the old ghost Huian in the void also suppressed the fear in his heart and spoke again. My little friend, I don't know which martial emperor you are. Please don't interfere in today's matter. I, the burning heaven holy emperor, would be very grateful. The attitude of old ghost Huian seemed very polite. Although he is a half-emperor, he does not have any qualifications to be arrogant in front of the real martial emperor. Who do you think the burning heaven holy land is? Yi Lingtian stared at old ghost Huo Yun coldly. If you dare to disturb my mother's succession ceremony as the patriarch, there is no need for the burning heaven holy land to exist anymore. The words have not yet fallen. Yi Lingtian raised his hand and punched out. Boom. The void collapsed and the heaven and earth were shattered. I saw old ghost Huian's thousand-foot-long martial emperor body, with an extremely domineering punch punching out a huge hole in his chest that seemed to be ten feet in size. You. Dot who are you? Old ghost Huian looked at the huge hole in his chest with a pale face, and his eyes instantly became horrified. I am ye heavenly emperor, and I will kill you like a chicken. Yi Lingtian looked at old ghost Huo Yun indifferently, and his proud voice resounded throughout the world. At the same time, the old ghost Huian's thousand-foot-long imperial body could no longer hold up, and instantly collapsed in the void. The emperor's body collapsed, only the illusory soul of the old ghost Huian is left, floating in the void with a horrified look on his face. Although old ghost Huian also knew that the martial emperor was very powerful, countless times more powerful than the half-emperor himself. But what he faced was not the real martial emperor. The kid in front of him just summoned the emperor's will to join him. He is a half-emperor who embodies the body of a martial emperor, so why should he be able to compete with this kid? But I didn't expect it. His martial emperor body was shattered with just one punch. This moment, old ghost Huian looked extremely frightened. He didn't even care about the people in burning heaven holy land, and fled towards the distance like a frightened bird. Only. Old ghost Huian had just escaped less than a hundred feet away, when an illusory golden palm that was enough to confine the space condensed directly out of thin air, and lightly pinched old ghost Huian's soul in the palm of his hand. No, old ghost Huian looked desperate and let out a burst of frightened screams. Lord Hades Emperor, help, help. The reason why old ghost Huian dared to come directly to White Emperor City was that in addition to being a half-emperor who condensed the body of Martial Emperor, he also had a bigger trump card. He paid a huge price to get the favor of a Martial Emperor in Beidou Tianyu. The Emperor of Tianming Emperor Palace, Emperor Ming. Now facing the extremely terrifying Yi Lingtian, old ghost Huian had to call for help from Emperor Hades in order to survive. Buzz. As old ghost Huian's frightened cry for help came out, a terrifying spatial fluctuation suddenly rippled between the heaven and the earth. Next moment, a black light containing the overwhelming power of Heavenly Emperor instantly crossed the space and landed in the sky above White Emperor City, transforming into a tall man in black. The man in black has a black robe and black hair, wearing an imperial crown on his head, and has a strong aura. As soon as he appeared, it seemed that the surrounding world became a bit eerie and cold. Boy, give this emperor some face and let him go. The cold voice of the man in black was extremely calm, but it gave people an unquestionable feeling. Emperor of Hades, the expressions of Zhang Chongyang and others became extremely pale. In the Beidou realm today, there are only three powerful warriors known to everyone in the emperor realm. The emperor of Hades in front of him is one of them. And, among the three powerful emperor realm warriors, Hades is also the one who became famous the earliest. It can be said, Emperor Hades is the most powerful person in the world in the Beidou heavenly domain, and that's no big deal. 
I don't know what means Hui an old ghost used to get help from Emperor Hades. A living martial emperor. Even if it's just the arrival of an incarnation evolved from the Tao Emperor's will, it's enough to make people tremble. You said you asked me to let him go, so I have to let him go. Who do you think you are? Yi Lingtian looked up at the incarnation of the underworld emperor. The illusory palm holding the soul of old ghost Huian exerted slight force. The soul of old ghost Huian didn't even have time to scream before it shattered into nothingness. Through Zhang Qianan's memory, Yi Lingtian naturally knew the identity of the man in black. The emperor of Tianming Emperor Palace, Ming Emperor. One of the three powerful emperor realm warriors in the Beidou realm, and the strongest among the three martial emperors. But so what? He is now using the character card of Yi Heavenly Emperor. Although it is only the excellent level, its power is limited to the level of the emperor realm. But even in the same realm, Yi Heavenly Emperor's power is still enough to suppress everything. Don't say it's just the incarnation of Emperor Hades. Even if the Hades Emperor comes, he can still kill him here. Boy, you are looking for death. The already extremely cold aura of the Hades, incarnation became even more sinister at this moment. Originally, because Yi Lingtian has the imperial will attached to him, Emperor Ming doesn't want to fight with Yi Lingtian, he just plans to save the old ghost Huo Yun. But I didn't expect it. Yi Lingtian was so disrespectful to him. He simply ignored his words and crushed old ghost Huo Yun's soul in front of him. He, the mighty underworld emperor, was the most powerful person in the world in the Beidou Heavenly Territory. How had he ever been so humiliated? Boy, this emperor will let you know today what it means to be an emperor and not to be insulted. Even if you have the support of the martial emperor, I will kill you. The incarnation of Emperor Hades resounded with a cold sound that sounded like coming from the Nine Netherworld, and the endless emperor's power covered the world. Immediately, as soon as he took one step forward, the sky with a radius of thousands of miles fell into darkness at this moment, turning into a pitch-black sea of netherworld. A terrifying chill filled the sky, as if it was about to freeze everyone's souls. Die, the netherworld emperor's incarnation spit out a cold word of death, and the netherworld sea surged wildly, turning into countless black waves hundreds of feet torn apart the space, and rolled towards Yi Lingtian. Under those countless hundred-foot black waves, Yi Lingtian's figure was like a drop in the ocean, looking extremely small. Yi Lingtian's eyes were indifferent, and his body moved forward instead of retreating. He clenched his fist, and an indestructible bright fist instantly shattered the countless surging black waves. Come last, the nether sea that covered the sky and the sun in the void was penetrated by Yi Lingtian's punch and was shattered. The sky suddenly became clear again. The incarnation of the Hades Emperor trembled slightly, and stepped backwards thousands of feet in the void in a state of embarrassment. He looked at Yi Lingtian, who was like the heavenly emperor coming to the world, with a look of shock. As a powerful warrior in the emperor realm, Emperor Hades naturally knows better than the average person about methods such as adding the emperor's will. He used the body of his direct descendant to incarnate the emperor's will, which may not be as powerful as the incarnation of the emperor's will that he directly descended from the sky. And Yi Lingtian, who was possessed by the emperor's will, almost destroyed his incarnation of the emperor's will with one punch. He even had a feeling that he was facing a real martial emperor at this moment. Doesn't this mean, the martial emperor behind Yi Lingtian is far more powerful than him? Emperor Ming's eyes flickered slightly, and just as he was about to speak, Yi Lingtian struck from the sky with another golden fist that shattered the world. This punch, neither the incarnation of Hades nor the vast space he was in could bear it, and a huge black hole was blasted out, like an abyss. Just two casual punches, the incarnation of the emperors will descended from the sky, destroyed. Yi Lingtian first killed the half-emperor Hui an old ghost, and then the Ming Emperor's clone, and then looked at the group of strong men from the burning heaven holy land who had been scared to death. My name is Yi Lingtian. From now on, the burning sky holy land will surrender to me, the Qingyan holy dynasty. Do any of you have any opinions? Burning heaven holy land. The famous top holy land in Beidou Tianyu is only slightly weaker than the former Zhang clan. Even if the old ghost Huian dies. Burning Heaven Holy Land still has four martial saints and countless martial gods. This is a lot of immortal dynasty points. Anyway, 
there is a system to test the loyalty of these burning sky holy land experts, and Yiling Tian is not worried about these burning sky holy land experts stabbing him in the back. If your loyalty is not enough, just wait until you finish earning immortal dynasty points and kill him. Yiling Tian, you are dreaming. You kill me, Saint Ancestor Huian of the Burning Sky Holy Land, and I, the Burning Sky Holy Land, will fight with you until death. If you dare, kill us all. One of the Burning Heaven Holy Land Marshal Saints stared at Yiling Tian without any fear, his eyes almost bursting with fire. If the look was enough to kill, Yiling Tian might have died countless times. Obviously, this martial saint is a close confidant of old ghost Huo Yun, the kind who swears to follow old ghost Huo Yun to the death. That's right, there are no cowards in our burning heaven holy land, and we will not surrender until we die. Everyone fought with him together. Quote dot 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 quote. The words of this martial saint were quickly echoed by many powerful people from burning heaven holy land, many of whom stepped forward to fight Yiling Tian desperately. Naturally, Yi Lingtian was not used to these tough words. He was like swatting mosquitoes, slapping him one slap after another. With every slap, a strong man from the burning heaven holy land turned directly into a burst of blood mist. Just for a moment, more than a dozen of the tougher burning heaven holy land experts, including the leading martial saint, were all killed by Yi Lingtian in an understatement. Looking at the scene in front of me. The remaining powerful men of the Burning Heaven Holy Land were as silent as a cicada, not even daring to make a sound. If they dared to say no, the god of death in front of them would really kill them all. Who else has an opinion? Yi Lingtian glanced at him and asked again. No. No objection, we are willing to surrender. The remaining powerful men of the Burning Heaven Holy Land, who dared not hesitate for a moment, all bowed down before Yi Lingtian honestly. Meet Holy Lord Qingyan. That's right, Yi Lingtian looked at the people in the Burning Heaven Holy Land and said with a smile, I know that many of you still have opinions in your heart. If you have opinions, you can hold them in. If you speak out, it's your fault. Ding. Congratulations to the Master for conquering the Burning Heaven Holy Land. The number of Qingyun Saints and Martial Saints has increased by 3, Martial God has increased by 22, Martial Sovereign Martial King has increased by several, and 1,239,000 Immortal Dynasty points have been obtained. Nice. Yi Lingtian was very happy when he heard the system prompt sound in his mind. This burning heaven holy land is worthy of being the top holy land in the Beidou Heavenly Domain. It is really powerful and has directly allowed him to obtain more than 1 million Immortal Dynasty points. Yi Lingtian's Immortal Dynasty points now are more than enough to synthesize a peerless character card. After his mother takes control of the Zhang clan. If the Zhang clan is also brought under the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, another large amount of Immortal Dynasty points will be earned. By the time, he can synthesize several permanent outstanding character cards, create several martial emperors, and sweep across the Beidou Heavenly Territory with ease. You return to the Burning Sky Holy Land and transform the Burning Sky Holy Land into the Qingyun Holy City. From now on, it will be the capital of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. In a few days, this holy master will come in person. Yi Lingtian directly gave instructions to the group of Burning Heaven Holy Land powerhouses in front of him. He was worried that he could not find a suitable site to establish the Qingyun Holy Dynasty in the Beidou Tianyu, but he did not expect that the Burning Sky Holy Land would come to his doorstep. Burning Heaven Holy Land is the top saint grade force in the Beidou Heavenly Domain. It would be much simpler to establish the Qingyun Holy Dynasty based on Burning Heaven Holy Land. As you command, these powerful men from the Burning Heaven Holy Land responded respectfully, and then quickly disappeared over the White Emperor City. After leaving White Emperor City, a group of strong men from the Burning Heaven Holy Land couldn't help but look at the red-faced man at the head. Elder Kai Yan, do we really want to surrender to Yiling Tian? Qian Martial Saint a high-level martial saint from Burning Heaven Holy Land. With the death of Saint Ancestor Huian and another high-level martial saint, Qian Martial Saint is undoubtedly the highest status martial saint in Burning Heaven Holy Land. If not, Qian Martial Saint smiled bitterly and said, even the half-emperor Huian Saint Ancestor and the incarnation of Hades Emperor were easily destroyed. If we don't surrender, we will only die. What Elder Kai Yan said is true. Even if Yi Lingtian lets us go, the Zhang clan will probably not let us go. Yes, the Burning Sky Holy Land is what it is today. 
It is all the fault of Saint Ancestor Huian and others. It may not be a bad thing to hang out with peerless people like Yi Ling Tian. Quote dot 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 quote. Many powerful people from the Burning Heaven Holy Land started talking about it. Yi Ling Tian is already a sword master at a young age. Such talent is rare in the world. And, he is also a descendant of the martial emperor who can summon the emperor's will and has a very profound background. It is probably only a matter of time before the Qingyun Holy Dynasty is promoted to the Qingyun Imperial Dynasty. It may not be a bad thing to hang out with such a peerless person. Since everyone has no objections, let's follow the Holy Lord's instructions and strive to build Qingyun Holy City as soon as possible. The eyes of the Red Flame Martial Saint flashed brightly. He is not a direct descendant of Burning Sky Holy Land, and the resources he has enjoyed in Burning Sky Holy Land these years are limited. Even breaking through to the Martial Saint level was an opportunity gained through going out for experience. Marshal Saint Qian's feelings for Burning Sky Holy Land are far from reaching the point where he is willing to fight for Burning Sky Holy Land. Yi Ling Tian is a descendant of the Martial Emperor, and his talent exceeds that of an Emperor grade genius. For such a character, his future achievements may be at least Martial Emperor, and he may even have the opportunity to surpass Martial Emperor and enter the Fairyland. Follow people like this. He, the Red Flame Martial Saint, may not become the Red Flame Martial Emperor, and it is not impossible. Dot dot dot. Tianming Emperor Palace. One of the three great emperor level forces in the Beidou Heavenly Territory, it is one of the true top forces in the Beidou Heavenly Territory. After all, these three great emperor level forces all have martial emperors in charge. They are definitely not comparable to the descendants of martial emperors like the Zhang clan who rely on the remaining power of their ancestors. The emperor of the Tianming Emperor Palace is the famous Hades Emperor of the Beidou Heavenly Domain. Emperor of Hades, a martial emperor who has been famous for more than 8,000 years in the Beidou Tianyu is also the oldest martial emperor in the Beidou Tianyu. His strength is unfathomable. Tianming Emperor Palace, Tianming Main Palace. The Hades Emperor sat cross-legged in the middle of a dark hall, feeling his incarnation of the emperor's will that had been destroyed by a punch, his eyes gloomy to the extreme. Who is that kid? In addition to him, the other two martial emperors in Beidou Tianyu, Hades Emperor knew them very well. The imperial aura in Yiling Tian was definitely not that of those two. And, with the strength of those two people, it is impossible to use the body of the younger generation to incarnate the emperor's will and smash his incarnation of the emperor's will with one punch. There are only two possibilities. Either there is a martial emperor more powerful than him hidden in the Beidou Heaven realm. Either Yi Ling Tian is not from Beidou Tianyu. No matter which one, it is beyond his control, which is something Emperor Hades does not want to see anyway. Emperor Hades' eyes flickered slightly, and a look of determination flashed in his eyes. He suddenly said to the heir, I can consider cooperating with you and come out to have a chat. As Emperor Hades finished speaking, a streak of demonic energy emerged out of thin air in the empty hall, and then transformed into a man in black, wrapped in demonic aura. He looked up at the Hades Emperor in front of him and couldn't help but smile evilly. Underworld Emperor, I knew you wouldn't let me down. I can cooperate with you, but I must first see your sincerity. Emperor Hades looked at the man in black in front of him and said expressionlessly. Foreign race, messenger of the heavenly demon race. As early as a few months ago, this heavenly demon clan messenger suddenly came to Beidou Tianyu to find him and wanted to cooperate with him. Faced with the messenger of the heavenly demon clan whose strength was not inferior to his, Emperor Hades neither agreed nor refused. During this time, even though the heavenly demon tribe's envoy has been hiding in the Tianming Emperor's palace, the underworld emperor has turned a blind eye. Until today, when Yiling Tian punched the incarnation of the emperor's will, Emperor Hades finally couldn't help but take the initiative to summon the messenger of the heavenly demon clan. The messenger of the heavenly demon tribe didn't talk nonsense either. He moved his palm, and a mysterious scroll exuding the ancient aura appeared directly in his palm. This is a technique that allows you to break through the martial emperor level, which is what you human race calls the immortal level technique. This immortal level technique should be enough to show my sincerity, right? The heavenly demon clan messenger looked at Hades Emperor with a smile. Emperor Hades stared at the scroll in the hand of the heavenly demon clan messenger, and an extremely fiery light suddenly appeared in his eyes. 
Immortal level skills. He has been trapped in the Emperor realm for thousands of years. One of the biggest reasons is that he does not have immortal level skills to convert the power in his body into immortal energy. In the Beidou Tianyu, there is almost no inheritance above the martial emperor. Even in the endless history of Beidou Tianyu, he relied on himself to break the limit of the martial emperor and then shattered the void and left. There is an only one person. That is Qinglian Sword Fairy Yi Qinglian. Even though Zhang Bai, who was invincible in Beidou Heavenly Territory for an era, finally left Beidou Heavenly Territory, he still failed to enter the Wonderland above the Martial Emperor in Beidou Heavenly Territory. Now that he saw the Heavenly Demon Clan Messenger using his immortal level skills, how could Emperor Hades not be excited? Even though the Martial Emperor is powerful, his lifespan is only 10,000 years. Emperor Hades has lived for 8 or 9,000 years. If he cannot enter a higher level of fairyland within one or two thousand years, even as the emperor of the underworld, he will only turn into a handful of Lois in the end. Now, the immortal level skills that the heavenly demon tribe's envoys have come up with have undoubtedly given hope to Emperor Hades. Since your excellency is so sincere, I seem to have no reason to refuse. Emperor Ming took a deep breath and slowly said, If you need my help, as long as I can do it, I will never refuse. Human race alien races vow to be incompatible. This simply does not exist here in Hades Emperor. Benefits outweigh everything. As long as there are interests that are enough to make him excited, it doesn't matter even if he associates with a foreign race. Dot dot dot. After conquering Burning Heaven Holy Land. As the use of the character card ended, Yi Ling Tian once again received a reward from the system feedback. And Yi Heavenly Emperor is worthy of being the leader among the big guys named Yi. It was also an outstanding character card, but the feedback was much higher, allowing Yi Lingtian to reach the top level of Martial Saint in one fell swoop. Next is the draw. Yi Lingtian's character also exploded and he drew the Heavenly Emperor Sword. Next, Yi Lingtian did not stay in the Zhang clan for long. He said goodbye to his mother Zhang Qingfang directly and returned to the Northern Wasteland to deal with the affairs of the Qingyun Dynasty. Qingyun Palace after Yi Lingtian returned to the Northern Wasteland, he immediately summoned his uncle Yi Qinglei, Wei Xian, Tuo Bazan and others together. Uncle, I want to establish the Qingyun Holy Dynasty in the Beidou Heavenly Territory. Wei Xian and Tuo Bazan will follow me to the Beidou Heavenly Territory. From now on, the Northern Wilderness Territory will be handed over to you. Yi Lingtian looked directly at his uncle Yi Lingtian. Lingtian, I'm afraid I don't have the ability to take care of the northern wasteland for you. Yi Qinglei couldn't help but smile bitterly. Yi Lingtian's pace was so fast that he couldn't keep up. Although I practiced in Yi Lingtian's mysterious little tower for a while, and then took a supreme holy pill, I have been making great progress recently. But even so, Yi Qinglei has just broken through the martial sovereign realm. Let him control the overall situation of the Northern Wilderness Territory, but he is still somewhat powerless. Uncle, don't worry, I will give you the strength to control the Northern Wilderness Territory. Yi Lingtian smiled confidently, and then looked at Tuo Bazan. Go to the Qingye Domain, help Yi Lin handle the affairs of the Qingye Domain, and then take him with you to the Burning Sky Holy Land in the Beidou Domain to find me. Tuo Bazan takes the order. Tuo Bazan responded respectfully then waved his feather fan and floated away. After Tuoba Zan leaves, Yi Lingtian took Yi Qinglei and Wei Xian directly into Hongmeng Tower. I have two opportunities here that can give you the strength of the Martial Emperor instantly. But there is also a drawback, that is, it is very likely that you will stay at the Martial Emperor forever and never be able to break through to a higher level. Are you too willing? Yi Lingtian didn't waste any time and said straight to the point. Conquered Burning Heaven Holy Land. Yi Lingtian now has more than 1.3 million Immortal Dynasty points. He decided to synthesize two permanent excellent character cards and create two martial emperors first. Uncle Yi Qinglei and Wei Xian were Yi Lingtian's chosen targets. The Northern Wilderness Territory is not a simple place. There is also a mysterious sealed world. There must be a trustworthy strong man in charge. It is undoubtedly a good choice to promote the uncle to the emperor realm and let him take charge of the northern wasteland. Wei Xian, a relatively comfortable tool man, was brought to Beidou Tianyu by Yi Lingtian. With Wei Xian's current strength, going to the Beidou realm is obviously not enough, 
and Yiling Tian also plans to upgrade it to the Emperor realm. The loyalty of both of them to him has reached 100, and there is almost no possibility of betrayal. Not to mention, he now has enough points to synthesize a peerless character card. Even if someone dares to betray him, he is still capable enough to take back the ability given to him. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Yi Qinglei and Wei Xian both looked at Yiling Tian with expressions of disbelief, even wondering if there was something wrong with their ears. Martial Emperor this is the ceiling of Xuanwang Great World Martial Dao. It is said that one step further up is the legendary realm of immortals. What kind of opportunity can allow a person to reach the sky in one step and instantly possess the strength of the emperor realm? How could there be such an incredible opportunity in this world? Are they probably daydreaming? You heard me right, this is not a dream either. Yi Ling Tian looked at the two people who were almost stunned and said with a smile, you just need to tell me if you are willing. If there is such an opportunity, I will naturally be willing. Seeing that Yi Ling Tian didn't seem to be joking, Yi Qing Lei couldn't help but take a deep breath and said solemnly, Your Majesty, I am willing to. Wei Xian came to his senses and replied quickly, Wu Emperor Realm, with their martial Dao talents, even if they live for ten more lifetimes, it will be a realm that is beyond their reach. Even if they can only stay in Wu Emperor Realm forever in the future, they are totally willing. Yi Ling Tian didn't say much. He directly used the system to exchange for 169 excellent universal fragment cards and synthesized two lesser known permanent excellent character cards. Certainly, there is absolutely no weak person among the bosses named Yi who can be accepted into the system. There are thousands of fantasy novels. As the largest family in the world of fantasy novels, the Yi family has countless bosses. Yi Ling Tian only knew the most famous ones. Assigning two permanent outstanding character cards to Yi Qinglei and Wei Xian for use, the two of them immediately seemed to have opened up the two channels of Ren and Du, and their cultivation levels gradually increased. Martial God, Martial Saint, Martial Emperor, just a moment. The two of them have become rare warriors in the world. Feeling the terrifying power in their bodies that was more than a hundred times stronger, even Yi Qinglei and Wei Xian, who had been mentally prepared, could not recover for a while. Are they now powerful emperor realm warriors? And the two of them were shocked to find out. Not only did their cultivation reach the emperor realm, but they also inexplicably mastered many amazing skills in their minds. This feeling, it was as if Yiling Tian had used some kind of divine ability to forcibly transfer the power of a martial emperor to them. Although they didn't know how Yiling Tian did it, they didn't ask any more questions. From the moment Yiling Tian led the Qingyun dynasty to make a comeback, and then took out the mysterious little tower with extremely terrifying time flow, they knew that there was a huge secret hidden in Yiling Tian. Such secrets are simply not something they can explore. Just follow Yiling Tian and hang out. Uncle, the northern wilderness territory will be handed over to you from now on. You should pay more attention to the strange world where the great wilderness dynasty's ancestral land is sealed. Yiling Tian looked at Yi Qinglei who had come back to his senses, and couldn't help but smiled and warned. He suppressed the seal of the entrance to the other world with the Nine Flame Immortal Fire. Now that Yi Qinglei, the Martial Emperor, is in charge, Yi Ling Tian is relatively relieved. Don't worry, Ling Tian, I will protect the Northern Wilderness Territory for you. At this moment, Yi Qinglei looked extremely confident. He now has the cultivation of the Martial Emperor realm, and is still at the top Martial Emperor level. Unless the legendary immortal comes, no one can shake the Northern Wilderness Territory. Arrange things in the Northern Wilderness Territory. Yi Ling Tian didn't stay in the Northern Wasteland for too long. The next day, he took Wei Xian and quietly left the Northern Wilderness Territory and directly entered the Beidou Heavenly Territory. The Holy Mountain of Liang. The powerful men of Burning Heaven Holy Land, headed by Kai Yan Martial Saint, are organizing their disciples to rebuild and transform Burning Heaven Holy Land in full swing. Outside the Liang Holy Mountain, on a huge stone that is a hundred feet high and looks majestic, the four characters, Burning Heaven Holy Land, have become, Qingyun Holy Land. When Yiling Tian brought Wei Xian to Liang Holy Mountain, Qian Marshal Saint also sensed Yiling Tian's aura immediately and quickly came to Yiling Tian. Kai Yan pays homage to the Holy Lord. No need to be polite. Yi Ling Tian waved his hand, and then said directly, Wei Xian next to me will be my spokesperson in the Qingyun Holy Dynasty from now on. 
he will handle all the matters of the Qingyan Holy Dynasty for me. Do you have any opinions? Kai Yan doesn't dare. He will obey the Holy Lord's instructions in everything. Kai Yan Marshal Saint said quickly. Yi Lingtian established the Qingyan Holy Dynasty and sent a confidant to help him take care of it. This was a matter of course. Only, Xuanwang Great World respects strength after all. If Wei Xian was strong enough, there would be no problem. Otherwise, even if he is a close disciple of the Holy Lord, he may not be able to convince the public. After introducing Wei Xian to Marshal Saint Qian, Yi Lingtian once again became the hands-off shopkeeper and handed everything over to Wei Xian. With the strength of Wei Shangwu Emperor Realm, Yi Lingtian was not worried at all that he could not suppress these powerful men from the burning heaven holy land. Mr. Wei, you are new here. May I introduce to you the current situation of Qingyan Holy Dynasty? Marshal Saint Qian looked at Wei Xian in front of him and seemed very polite. He is not keen on rights or anything like that. The reason why I followed Yi Lingtian was because I saw a glimmer of hope in Yi Lingtian to enter the Emperor realm. He just needs to do his part. As for whether Wei Xian has the ability to control the Qingyan Holy Dynasty for Yi Lingtian, it is not within the scope of his consideration. Wei Xian smiled and said, Then there is Marshal Saint Lao Qian. Mr. Wei, you're welcome. Qian Marshal Saint didn't say much, and took Wei Xian to see the construction progress of the Qingyan Holy Dynasty, and then summoned several major powerhouses and introduced them to Wei Xian. Mr. Wei, since you are the spokesperson appointed by the Holy Lord, we naturally have no objections. However, Xuanwang Great World has always respected strength. If Mr. Wei does not have enough strength, not only will it be difficult to convince the public, but the prestige of the Holy Lord may also be weakened. A relatively young Martial Saint Realm expert said with a smile. This Martial Saint Realm expert is called Guan Lai. He is a former genius Martial Saint of Burning Heaven Holy Land. His reputation is almost comparable to that of Zhang Qianan of the Zhang clan. Although Guan Lai was smiling all over his face, he seemed to be very polite to Wei Xian. But, everyone could hear the dissatisfaction in his tone. As a former genius martial saint of Burning Heaven Holy Land, Guan Lai naturally still had some ambitions in his heart. What Guan Wu Sheng said is true. After hearing Guan Lai's words, Wei Xian didn't feel angry at all. He looked at Guan Lai and said with a smile, What kind of strength does Guan Wusheng think I need to convince the public without weakening the reputation of the Holy Lord? I wonder if the Emperor realm is enough. Before Wei Xian finished speaking, a terrifying imperial power instantly filled the air from his body. That moment, everyone, including Kai Yan Martial Saint, seemed to have a trembling feeling in their souls. They looked at Wei Xian in front of them, with incredible horror in their eyes. Martial Emperor, they didn't expect it anyway. This unknown, seemingly ordinary man turned out to be a martial emperor. In the Northern Territory, when did such a martial emperor appear again? Could it be, this person is the emperor realm warrior behind Yi Lingtian? But Wei Xian's attitude toward Yi Lingtian doesn't seem to be the same, right? Meet the martial emperor. Kai Yan Martial Saint and others came to their senses, and they quickly suppressed the horror in their hearts and knelt down in front of Wei Xian respectfully. Everyone, please get up. Wei Xian waved his hand and said with a smile, We are all from the Qingyan Holy Dynasty. You are welcome. I am just a servant of the Holy Lord. Hiss. When Kai Yan Martial Saint and others heard this, they couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. The mighty Martial Emperor was actually just a servant beside Yi Lingtian. Think of this, the scalps of Kai Yan Martial Saint and others could not help but feel numb. The servants are all Martial Emperor. The Holy Lord is too terrifying. Kai Yan Martial Saint and others came back to their senses, and their hearts were filled with excitement. In the Zhang clan that day, although they had no choice but to surrender to Yi Lingtian, they were willing to help him establish the Qingyan Holy Dynasty, mainly because they were relatively optimistic about the prospects of the Qingyan Holy Dynasty but I didn't expect it. Yi Lingtian went back and brought a martial emperor like Wei Xian to take charge of the Qingyan Holy Dynasty for him. The Qingyan Holy Dynasty, with the martial emperor in charge, is almost the fourth emperor grade force in the Beidou Tianyu. How can they not be excited by this? Master Martial Emperor, the reconstruction of Qingyan Holy City should be completed within half a month. When you see it, 
do you want to invite all the major forces in the Beto domain to hold a grand dynasty establishment ceremony? Qian Marshal Saint took a deep breath and quickly made suggestions. It's natural. Wei Xian's eyes flashed. After the Qingyun Holy Dynasty was established in the Beidou Heavenly Territory, its next goal was to sweep across the entire Beidou Heavenly Territory. Counting Yi Qinglei from the Northern Wasteland, Qingyun Shangchaowu Emperor Realm has two strong men. And, Wei Xian knew very well that since Yi Lingtian could allow him and Yi Qinglei to easily reach the Wu Emperor Realm, I am afraid that at least he has a strength that is not weaker than the Wu Emperor Realm. Even the Tianming Emperor's Palace, the number one power in the Beidou Heavenly Domain, is hard to compare with the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. Even if you directly establish an imperial dynasty, there will be no problem. This time the dynasty ceremony was held. Wei Xian wants everyone in Beidou Heaven to know the reputation of Qingyun Holy Dynasty. While Wei Xian and others were busy with the affairs of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, Yi Lingtian, the master of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, seemed extremely leisurely. He just signed in and lay down in the sun every day. After all, Yi Lingtian's next plan is to sweep across the Beidou Heavenly Territory and make the entire Beidou Heavenly Territory surrender to the feet of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. This plan must at least wait until the Qingyun Holy Dynasty is established before it can be started. During this time, Yi Lingtian also went to the Zhang clan twice to communicate with his mother Zhang Qingfeng, hoping to bring the Zhang clan under the command of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty and increase immortal dynasty points. With the strength of the Zhang clan, if he surrenders to the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, the immortal dynasty points that can be provided to him will definitely be no less than those of the Burning Heaven Holy Land. Only, although Zhang Bai spoke and Zhang Qingfeng successfully became the leader of the Zhang clan, Zhang Qingfeng's cultivation was still in the martial god realm after all, and he was not even a martial saint. Even as the clan leader, it is difficult to keep his word in the Zhang clan. If the Zhang clan is asked to surrender to the Qingyun Holy Dynasty at this time, even Zhang Chongyang, who has always supported Zhang Qingfeng, may not agree. Regarding Zhang Bai, the ancestor of the Zhang clan, Yi Lingtian still admired him very much. Coupled with his mother's relationship, Yi Lingtian obviously did not want to use that bloody method to kill the Zhang clan until they were willing to surrender. Yi Lingtian also considered it. How about using another permanent excellent character card to directly upgrade your mother's cultivation level to the Emperor Realm? By the time, Zhang Qingfeng is the one who sticks to her word in the Zhang clan, and no one can oppose her decision. But Yi Lingtian finally gave up. The biggest disadvantage of permanent excellent character cards is that there is no possibility of breakthrough after using them. His mother Zhang Qingfeng's talent is not inferior to that of an emperor grade genius. As long as he is given enough resources, he has great hope of breaking through the emperor realm in the future. With his help, even breaking through the martial emperor is not impossible. If a permanent outstanding character card is used, unless the system will enable the synthesis of permanent outstanding character cards in the future, even if he cannot let Zhang Qingfeng reach a higher level. That's why, Yi Lingtian didn't act too hastily. Establish the Qingyun Imperial Dynasty, develop it for a period of time, accumulate more immortal dynasty points, and then build a few martial emperors. By the time, there are more powerful martial emperors in the Qingyun Holy Dynasty than in the entire Beidou Heavenly Domain combined. Isn't it easy to sweep across Beidou? Yi Lingtian checked the Immortal Dynasty points. The last time the two permanent excellent character cards were synthesized, a total of 169,000 Immortal Dynasty points were consumed, and now there are still 1,146,000 Immortal Dynasty points left. These immortal dynasty points are at least enough for Yi Lingtian to synthesize 10 permanent outstanding character cards. But Yi Lingtian doesn't plan to use it easily for the time being. Just in case, he must always ensure that he has the points to synthesize a peerless character card. Just when Yi Lingtian was thinking about immortal dynasty points, the system's beep suddenly sounded. Ding! Yu Wushuang defeated Li Dahai and reached the 99th place on the Beidou Heavenly Domain God list. Congratulations to the master for earning 3,000 immortal dynasty points. Yi Lingtian was stunned for a moment. Sister Tongzi, there are also immortal dynasty points rewards. Yi Lingtian naturally knew that Beidou Tianyu had a god list and a saint list. 
On the god list, there are listed the 100 most powerful martial gods in the Beidou Heaven region, and the holy list includes the 20 top-level martial gods in the Beidou Heaven region. The little girl Yu Wushuang can improve very quickly when she comes to Beidou Tianyu alone. Not long after this, they all entered the god list. Yes, all the powerful men under the master who are ranked on the holy list of the Beidou Heavenly Domain can receive corresponding Immortal Dynasty Point rewards. The higher the ranking, the more Immortal Dynasty Point rewards. Loli Tongzi explained, there should be some strong men on the Burning Sky Holy Land who are on the holy list of gods. Why are there no rewards? Yi Lingtian couldn't help but asked curiously. Yes, the Immortal Dynasty Points reward is included in the over 1 million. After Loli Tongzi finished speaking, she thoughtfully introduced the reward rules of the holy list to Yi Lingtian. Those who are already on the holy list can only receive rewards corresponding to their rankings, and the immortal dynasty points given do not seem to be many. The ones with the most immortal dynasty points rewards are those who come in step by step from outside the holy list. For example, if Yu Wushuang has just reached the 99th place, he will receive rewards for the 99th and 100th places. If Yu Wushuang reaches the top of the god list, he can get all the rewards for all rankings. Yi Lingtian touched his chin. It seems that after Tuo Bazan and Yi Lin come to Beidou Heavenly Territory, they will also brush up their rankings on the god list. Dot dot dot. Tianming Emperor Palace, the main hall. Emperor Hades sat high on the main throne of the hall. On the left and right sides of the main seat, there are two Taoist figures, one male and one female. The man is tall and dressed in a blue robe, giving him a free and uninhibited sense of heroism. The woman has a beautiful face, indifferent eyes, and is dressed in a long white dress, just like a fairy from the Moon Palace who has descended on the mortal world. The two of them just sat there quietly, which was enough to make a strong man in the martial saint realm suffocate. Imperial Power These two people are none other than the other two of the three major martial emperors in the Beidou Tianyu, Qinglei Emperor and Kang Yu Emperor. Emperor Tianming, I wonder why you suddenly summoned us here. If you have nothing else to do, I will take my leave. Emperor Kang Yu raised his head and looked at Emperor Ming, and his cold voice rang directly in the hall. Emperor Kang Yu has never had a good impression of Emperor Tian Ming. If Zhang Baiyi's clone hadn't been born not long ago, and Emperor Tianming said there were important matters to discuss, she would never have come to Emperor Tianming's palace. After Emperor Kang Yu finished speaking, he stood up and left. Kang Yu, after all these years, your temperament has not changed at all. Emperor Tianming directly stopped Emperor Kang Yu and said with a smile, this emperor came to you two this time mainly to discuss matters involving foreign races. Alien, after hearing the words of Emperor Tianming, the expressions of Emperor Kang Yu and Emperor Qinglei instantly became much more solemn. A few days ago, Zhang Baiyi, the ancestor of the Zhang clan, who was once invincible in the Beta world for an era, was suddenly born as a clone of the Zhang clan. He went alone to the alien world sealed in the endless sea in the north and killed an alien martial emperor. That day, all three of them have personally explored the endless sea in the north. They all have a premonition. I'm afraid it won't be long before Beidou Tianyu will once again face a life and death crisis. After hearing that Emperor Tianming was discussing the matter, Emperor Kang Yu had no choice but to sit down again, wanting to hear what Emperor Tianming had to say. Only, one minute, two minutes, five minutes passed quickly. Emperor Tianming was still sitting on the main seat with the old god on the ground, without any intention of speaking. Emperor Tianming, what do you mean? Seeing that Emperor Tianming remained silent, Emperor Kang Yu also showed an extremely impatient look on his beautiful face. Even the silent Emperor Qing Lei could not help but frown slightly. He felt that Emperor Tianming did not come to them to discuss matters at all. This old immortal seems to have some conspiracy. Emperor Tianming, the Qing Lei Emperor sect has some urgent matters that need to be dealt with. I will leave first. The Qing Lei Emperor's eyes flickered slightly. What happened today was a little strange. He obviously didn't want to stay in Tianming Emperor's palace for a long time. Emperor Tianming smiled faintly. You too, please be patient. You should stay in my Emperor's Tianming Palace for a while today. Although Emperor Tianming didn't make any move, Emperor Kang Yu and Emperor Qinglei were both powerful Emperor Realm warriors, so they naturally sensed the fluctuations in the surrounding space immediately. 
The main hall they were in now was enveloped by a very powerful formation. Emperor Tianming, are you trying to trap them in this hall? Emperor Tianming, what do you mean? The expressions of Emperor Kang Yu and Emperor Qing Lei instantly became extremely cold. The old guy, Emperor Tianming, obviously didn't have any good intentions when he invited them here today. Although Emperor Tianming is the martial emperor who has been famous for the longest time in the Beidou Tianyu, he is also the first person in the Beidou Tianyu. But we are all martial emperors. Although they are afraid of Emperor Tianming, they are not afraid. It's not interesting, I just want to keep the two of you to communicate more. Emperor Tianming's expression still did not change at all. Emperor Kang Yu and Emperor Qing Lei said nothing. Just when they were about to forcefully break the formation and leave, they suddenly sensed something. The eyes of both of them looked towards the north in unison. In the endless sea in the north, an extremely strange aura of the martial emperor appeared. And, the aura of this martial emperor does not seem to be human race. Alien martial emperor, Emperor Kang Yu and Emperor Qing Lei reacted instantly. The abnormality of Emperor Tianming today is most likely related to the alien martial emperor. This is to trap the two of them here and let the alien martial emperor open the seal of the endless sea in the north. Emperor Tianming, you, dot you actually betrayed the human race. Emperor Kang Yu and Emperor Qing Lei both looked shocked and angry. Seeing Emperor Tianming's unusual behavior today, the two of them also expected that Emperor Tianming must have a conspiracy. Only, they thought about many possibilities, but they never thought that Emperor Tianming would betray the human race and join forces with the alien race. When did that alien martial emperor appear in Beidou Heavenly Territory? Emperor Kang Yu and Emperor Qing Lei did not hesitate at all, and the power of Emperor Wu Rong burst out at this moment. They cannot be trapped here by Emperor Tianming. Otherwise, Beidou Tianyu may fall into a situation of eternal disaster. Chapter 71 Looking at Emperor Qing Lei and Emperor Kang Yu who were erupting with all their strength, Emperor Tian Ming looked extremely calm. As the oldest martial emperor in the Beidou realm, Emperor Tian Ming is undoubtedly the most powerful among the three martial emperors. But, Emperor Qing Lei and Emperor Kang Yu are powerful emperor realm warriors after all. Even though Emperor Tian Ming is confident, he is not confident enough to be able to fight one against two. That's why, only the Emperor Tianming would lead the two of them to the Emperor Tianming Palace. With the means he deployed in the Tianming Emperor's Palace, although it was difficult to kill Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu, it was more than enough to trap them for a period of time. Emperor Tianming said nothing, the power in his body also exploded with all his strength in an instant, and he controlled the formations of the Tianming Emperor Palace to deal with the two martial emperors in front of him, and for a while he was not losing at all. Emperor Tianming, are you crazy? If the alien martial emperor is allowed to release the aliens from the seal, the entire Beidou Heavenly Territory will be devastated and become slaves of the aliens. Your Tianming Emperor's Palace will also not end well. Seeing that it was difficult to leave the Tianming Emperor's Palace for a while, Emperor Qinglei's expression instantly became frightened and angry. Emperor Tianming still did not speak. He was able to rise from a humble beginning in the Beidou Heavenly Territory and step by step become one of the three martial emperors in the Beidou Heavenly Territory. He relied on being ruthless and ruthless to achieve his goals by any means. This time, he has only one purpose, which is to obtain the Immortal Level skills. As long as he obtains the Immortal Level skills, he will have the opportunity to break the limits of the Martial Emperor, step into a higher level of Fairyland, break the Void and go to the legendary Shuangwang Lord World. If the Tianming Emperor's palace is destroyed, it will be destroyed. Beidou Tianyu was enslaved by aliens, what does it have to do with him? Emperor Qing Lei, he has obviously defected to the foreign race and become its lackey, why bother talking nonsense to him? After Emperor Kang Yu finished speaking, the power of endless moonlight gathered towards her. Now that the matter has come to this, there is no doubt that there is more to say. We can only condense the imperial body, evolve the imperial law, and destroy the formation of the Tianming Emperor's palace before leaving here. The Qing Lei Emperor's whole body was flashing green, and he no longer held any reservations and began to attack with all his strength. Rumble, three different terrifying powers filled this hall. If the formations of the Tianlei Emperor Palace were not very powerful, 
the full force of the three martial emperors might be enough to turn the entire area around the Tianlei Emperor Palace into nothingness. Dot dot dot. Qingyun Holy Dynasty. Wei Xian was reporting to Yiling Tian about the establishment of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, when he suddenly sensed something and couldn't help but look up to the north. What's wrong? Yiling Tian noticed Wei Xian's strange behavior and couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. My lord, in the endless sea in the north of the Beidou Sky Territory, a breath that is not weaker than the martial emperor appears, and this breath does not seem to be human race. Wei Xian said in a deep voice. Endless sea. Martial emperor breath. And it's not human race. When Yiling Tian heard this, his expression became extremely solemn. Is there a problem with sealing the world? If the alien race in that sealed world had broken the seal and was born, Beidou Tianyu would probably be in trouble. Wei Xian shook his head and said, No problem has been found yet, there is only one martial emperor. Where are the three martial emperors from the Beidou Sky region? Yi Ling Tian frowned. There are now three martial emperors in the Beidou Tianyu, and a martial emperor appears in the endless sea in the north. The three martial emperors should not sit idly by and ignore it, right? Wei Xian shook his head, and then seemed to sense something again, and couldn't help but look in the direction of Tianming Emperor's palace. My lord, there seems to be three martial emperors fighting in the Tianming Emperor's palace. Wei Xian said with a shocked expression. Wei Xian's current cultivation level is at the top level of the martial emperor. Although most of the battle between the three martial emperors in the Tianming Emperor's palace was obscured by a powerful formation, Wei Xian still vaguely sensed it. Yi Ling Tian's eyes darkened. There are three martial emperors fighting in Tianming Emperor Palace. Yi Ling Tian didn't need to think about it to know that this was a civil war between the three powerful emperor realm warriors in the Beidou realm. The civil war among the three major martial emperors in Beidou Tianyu broke out. The alien martial emperor suddenly appeared in the endless sea in the north. It seems that among the three martial emperors in the Beidou realm, it is very possible that someone betrayed the human race and became a lackey of the alien race. Wei Xian, you immediately go to the Endless Sea in the north and get rid of the alien martial emperor. Yi Ling Tian's eyes flashed coldly. The alien martial emperor appeared in the Endless Sea in the north. He must have wanted to break the seal and release the alien race from the sealed world. He must stop it immediately. Don't worry, Lord, I will deal with him right away. Before Wei Xian finished speaking, he disappeared directly in front of Yi Ling Tian. After Wei Xian leaves, Yi Ling Tian's figure also turned into a sword light and headed towards the Tianming Emperor's palace. Dot dot dot. North, endless sea. A black figure wrapped in black air stood in the air, looking up at the space vortex in the void. Is this the place where the dark demon race is sealed? The black shadow looked up at the space vortex, and couldn't help but murmured in a low voice. Dark demon race, a branch of the chaos great world demon race. Back then, their chaos great world demon race invaded the Xuanwang great world. The dark demon race was ranked in the middle and lower reaches of the demon race and was sent to attack the four major heavens of the Xuanwang great world. As a result, dark demon race was defeated and escaped into a small world here, where he has been sealed ever since. Nowadays, their demon race, although they have established a firm foothold in the Xuanwang main world, have been unable to completely defeat the Xuanwang great world human race. Therefore, Demon Race decided to change their strategy and break through the four realms of the Xuanwang Great World. First control the four heavenly realms and thousands of mortal realms. Although the four heavenly realms of the Xuanwang Great World and the thousands of mortal realms may seem weak, they cannot be underestimated at all. Many of the powerful human race experts in the Xuanwang world today come from seemingly inconspicuous mortal realms. For example, Yi Qinglian, the first swordsman of human race. Although the dark demon race is not too strong, it is more than enough to sweep across the four heavens as long as it is born. The black shadow murmured to himself, and the powerful aura of Emperor Realm, which was not weaker than that of Emperor Realm, also burst out without reservation this time. The three major martial emperors of Beidou Tianyu. Emperor Tianming cooperated with him and restrained Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kangyu for him. As long as there is no martial emperor to interfere with him, no one can stop him from breaking the seal and giving birth to the dark demon race. However, just when the black shadow was about to take action and try to break the seal, the space in front of him suddenly rippled with fluctuations. 
The next second, I saw a Taoist figure stepping out of the void and slowly appearing in front of the black shadow. The person who came was none other than Wei Xian who had been ordered to come. Martial Emperor, the black shadow's expression suddenly changed. He stared at Wei Xian with a look of shock and anger on his face, who are you? How come there is a fourth martial emperor in Beidou Tianyu? Wei Xian of Qingyun Holy Dynasty, following the order of the Lord, came to kill you. Wei Xian's indifferent voice fell, and the aura of the top-level martial emperor burst out at this moment without reservation. Top-level martial emperor, how can it be? Feeling the terrifying aura emanating from Wei Xian's body, incredible horror suddenly appeared in Hai Ying's eyes. There are three martial emperors in the Beidou Tianyu. Among them, Emperor Tianming, the most powerful one, is only a high-level martial emperor. Where did the top-level martial emperor in front of me come from? Could it be, he was deceived by Emperor Tianming? There is also a hidden martial emperor in Beidou Tianyu. The black shadow was shocked and angry in his heart. But when I think about it, I think it's unlikely. He still knows very well what kind of person Emperor Tianming is. In order to obtain the immortal level skills in his hands, Emperor Tianming would never deceive him at this time. Not to mention, Emperor Tianming did not miss his words, and single-handedly delayed the two martial emperors Qinglei Emperor and Kangyu Emperor for him. That is to say, it is very possible that even Emperor Tianming doesn't know about the existence of this person in front of him. And this one was ordered to come and kill him. Doesn't this mean? Is there a more powerful existence behind the one in front of me? Boom. Just when Hai Ying was filled with horror, a terrifying palm print that solidified the space came straight towards him to suppress it. At this moment, Hai Ying didn't even think about it at all. The heavenly demon energy surged into the sky and he fought with Wei Xian. Rumble. The battle between the two martial emperors was truly earth-shattering. The void within a radius of thousands of miles is constantly being broken and reorganized. The endless sea below was like a rupturing tsunami, setting off huge waves. Boom! There was another terrifying confrontation. The black shadow was knocked back thousands of feet by Wei Xian's punch, and the black devilish energy around him also became brighter and darker. He suppressed the churning breath in his body, feeling shocked and angry. The human race martial emperor in front of him was so powerful that it completely exceeded his imagination. His combat power is even better than that of high-level martial emperors like Emperor Tianming, but in front of the one in front of him, he doesn't have much power to fight back. This person may have reached the limit of the top-level martial emperor, an invincible existence in the fairyland. If you continue to fight, not to mention breaking the seal and letting the dark demon race come out, he might even explain it here. This Beidou Tianyu is far from as simple as he imagined. You must leave here first and think about the long term. Without any hesitation, the black shadow immediately cut through the space and prepared to escape from this place. Can you escape? Wei Xian's eyes were indifferent and he quickly formed seals with his hands. All of a sudden, the surrounding world changes and the space solidifies. Black shadow suddenly discovered with horror that he could not break through the surrounding space and leave here. Martial Imperial Law, the Black Shadow's expression suddenly changed. The human race martial emperor in front of me used the Imperial Law unique to the human race martial emperor. This weapon, Imperial Law, is extremely terrifying and contains the power of time and space. It is simply not something he can handle. The souls of the Black Shadows are all gone. Demonic energy surged all over his body, and his whole body split into three instantly and fled in three different directions. The auras emitted by these three black shadows are almost identical, making it impossible to tell the difference between true and false. Wei Xian's eyes were indifferent, and his expression did not change at all. His handprints changed, and his cold and stern voice slowly resounded throughout the world. A moment of eternity. As Wei Xian's words fell, the surrounding space and time underwent earth-shaking changes at this moment. The three black shadows all turned from extremely fast to still in an instant. Two of the black shadows instantly became illusory and transparent, and dissipated into the void in just a moment. The remaining deities are also aging rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. In just a moment, this space seemed to have passed thousands of years. No, the black shadow looked desperate and frightened. He was filled with demonic energy soaring into the sky, 
and his whole body turned into a thousand-foot-long demonic shadow, trying to forcefully break through this space. Only, under Wei Xian's terrifying imperial law, even if only a moment passed, his energy and spirit were weakened by more than half. He was like an old man in his dying years. How could he escape? Very quickly, the thousand-foot demon shadow turned into nothingness, and the life breath of the black shadow became weaker and weaker, and finally turned into a cold corpse. Until the black shadow's body fell into the endless sea. Wei Xian then slowly turned around and headed towards the Tianming Emperor's palace. However, the moment Wei Xian disappeared from this world, in the endless sea below, a mysterious token wrapped in black demonic energy soared into the sky and shot into the space vortex in the void. Dot dot dot, Tianming Emperor Palace, the main hall. The battle between the three martial emperors is still going on fiercely. Emperor Tianming relied on his home field advantage, even if it was one against two, he was only slightly at a disadvantage. Even if Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu tried their best, they could not break through the formation and escape from the Tianming Emperor's palace. Emperor Tianming, countless human race ancestors in the Beidou Sky territory paid countless blood to defeat the Dark Demon race and seal it in the Endless Sea in the north. Once the Dark Demon race comes out, all life in Beidou Tianyu will be devastated. You are a majestic human race martial emperor, but you are willing to become a lackey of the Dark Demon race. What do you want? Emperor Qinglei was anxious and angry. Everyone in the Beidou Sky territory is in ruins, what does it have to do with me? Emperor Tianming's face was expressionless. He glanced at the Qinglei Emperor lightly and sneered, I have no interest in being the savior of the human race in the Beidou Heavenly Realm. Breaking through the fairyland, breaking the void and heading to the Xuanwang Lord World is my only pursuit. The pupils of Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu couldn't help but shrink suddenly. They finally understood why Emperor Tianming suddenly betrayed human race and even took action against the two of them. Wonderland, this is indeed the realm that these martial emperors dream of. If the alien race comes up with the immortal rank inheritance, it is not surprising that Emperor Tianming, a guy who puts interests first, would join the alien race. Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu were extremely solemn. A foreign martial emperor appears in the Beidou heaven. Emperor Tianming, the leader of the three martial emperors, defected to the foreign race again. Beidou Tianyu, it's over. Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu took a deep breath. No matter how, they must try their best to leave the palace of heaven, Ming and Earth as soon as possible. Boom, just as the thoughts in the minds of Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu were flashing, the entire Tianming Di palace suddenly made a loud noise like the earth was shaking. Next moment, Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu were surprised to find that the extremely powerful formation of Tianming Emperor Palace was gone. Someone broke through the formation of Tianming Emperor Palace. Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu didn't hesitate at all. Their bodies disappeared from the main hall of Tianming Emperor Palace and appeared directly in the sky thousands of feet away. Immediately, a young man in golden robe who stood proudly with his sword appeared directly in the sight of Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu. Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu were both stunned for a moment. The powerful formation used by Emperor Tianming to trap them was broken by this little guy in front of him. Both of them were powerful warriors in the Emperor realm, and they quickly saw the situation of the young man in gold robe at a glance. When they felt the breath of the golden-robed young man, a trace of unconcealable horror appeared in their eyes. Early twenties, his cultivation has reached the top level of martial saint. This kind of talent is enough to turn emperor-grade geniuses into scum instantly. When did such a monster and peerless genius appear in the Beidou realm? Why didn't they know about it? But, this is not the most shocking thing. What shocked them the most was the sword in the hand of the young man in golden robe. Even as martial emperors, they all felt a palpitating aura from that sword. This sword is definitely a terrifying existence beyond the level of emperor weapon. Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu looked at each other, both wanting to find the answer in each other's eyes. But what they saw in each other's eyes were a series of question marks. Where did this little guy in front of me come from? No matter how. This young man in golden robe broke through the formation of Tianming Emperor's palace and helped the two of them get out of trouble, which was considered a great help to them. Just when the two were about to say thank you, the figure of Emperor Tianming also appeared in the void. Yiling Tian, it's you who ruined my good deeds again. 
Emperor Tianming stared at Yiling Tian with his eyes fixed on him, and a deep chill filled his whole body. Last time, he was summoned by the old ghost Huian from the burning heaven Holy Land, and the incarnation of the emperor's will came to White Emperor City, but he was punched to pieces by the kid in front of him. It was precisely because of that time. Emperor Tian Ming had just made up his mind to cooperate with the demon race martial emperor who suddenly came to Beidou Tianyu. Then, he led Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu to the Palace of Heaven and Earth, and with the help of the formation he had laid out in advance, he trapped Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu here. Hold back Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu, and let the demon race martial emperor break the seal of the endless sea. By the time, he will be able to obtain an immortal level skill. With the immortal level skills, he has the hope to break through the martial emperor level and step into the legendary fairyland. But I didn't expect, Yi Ling Tian unexpectedly came to the heaven and earth palace at this time, and smashed the formation that trapped Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu into pieces with one sword. What frightened Emperor Tianming the most was, the demon race martial emperor who went to the endless sea to break the seal actually disappeared in the Beidou Sky territory without any breath. What happened to that guy? Emperor Tianming was also horrified. Emperor Tianming is very clear about the strength of the demon race martial emperor, and even compared with him, he will not be inferior in the slightest. Such a powerful demon race martial emperor fell like this. When the demon race martial emperor fell, wouldn't his immortal level skills be gone as well? For the sake of immortal level skills, he did not hesitate to betray Beidou Tianyu human race, but in the end he did not get any benefits. Emperor Tianming suddenly felt the urge to vomit blood. This time, blood loss. Emperor Tianming, you, the majestic martial emperor, are willing to become a lackey of a foreign race. You have really brought disgrace to the human race of the Beidou Heavenly Territory. Yi Lingtian looked up at Emperor Tianming with a look of contempt in his eyes. That day in White Emperor City, using the excellent Yi Fan character card, Yi Lingtian has the ability to come to Tianming Emperor Palace and kill the Tianming Emperor himself. But he didn't do that. From the moment Zhang Bai cloned himself and killed the Emperor, Yi Lingtian could feel that the alien race sealed in the Endless Sea would not be far away when they returned to the Beidou Heavenly Territory. Tianming Emperor is the head of the three martial emperors of the Beidou Heavenly Domain, and he can also be regarded as the leader of the human race in the Beidou Heavenly Territory. Yi Lingtian left Emperor Tianming alive in the hope that he could contribute to the fight against the aliens. But I didn't expect Emperor Tianming to be so unruly that he directly became a lackey of a foreign race. Emperor Tianming's eyes were gloomy and he said nothing. Thinking of the terrifying strength displayed by Yi Ling and Heavenly Emperor Yi Jia that day, Emperor Tianming felt an inexplicable chill in his heart. The disappearance of the demon race martial emperor is most likely related to the martial emperor behind Yi Ling Tian. Why did you forget the person behind this kid? Emperor Tianming was shocked and angry. A mysterious and powerful martial emperor, together with the Qinglei Emperor and Kang Yu Emperor who were watching eagerly. If the three martial emperors attack at the same time, he will be in danger. Emperor Tianming didn't say anything, and his body disappeared directly into the void in a flash. His conspiracy with the alien martial emperor failed. I am afraid that there will no longer be a place for him in the Beidou Heavenly Territory, and he must leave here immediately. Emperor Tianming, you traitor to Beidou Heavenly Territory, I cannot spare you today. The always fiery-tempered Emperor Qing Lei had murderous intent in his eyes, and he was about to break through the void to hunt down Emperor Tianming. But at this moment, the void where Emperor Tianming had just disappeared suddenly trembled. Boom, the vast space collapsed instantly. I saw the figure of Emperor Tianming who had just disappeared, flying backwards from the broken void in a state of disgrace. He looked at the broken void with a horrified expression. Very quickly, a figure exuding the might of the Heavenly Emperor slowly walked out of the broken void. The visitor was none other than Wei Xian, who had come across the sky from the endless sea. Seeing the sudden appearance of Wei Xian, Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu were stunned and couldn't react for a while. Martial Emperor and he's also a top-level martial emperor. Is there such a powerful existence in the Beidou Heaven Realm? Wei Xian ignored the shocked three martial emperors and came directly to Yi Ling Tian. My lord, the alien martial emperor in the Endless Sea has been killed by me. This scene caused the three martial emperors who had just come back to their senses to fall into a sluggish state again. 
The alien martial emperor who appeared in the Endless Sea is dead. This mysterious being who killed the alien martial emperor actually called Yiling Tian his lord. Let a top-level martial emperor hold back. What is the identity of Yiling Tian? Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu were both deeply suspicious at this moment. They have all lived in Beidou Tianyu for thousands of years, and they can be said to have a very good understanding of the situation in Beidou Tianyu. But both Yiling Tian and the mysterious top-level martial emperor felt extremely strange to them. Is this really the Beidou realm where they have lived for thousands of years? Wei Xian, send our emperor Tianming to reunite with the alien martial emperor. Yiling Tian raised his head and glanced at Emperor Tianming, and said calmly. Since Emperor Tianming chose to associate with foreigners, he was already sentenced to death in Yiling Tian's heart. Now that Wei Xian is here, there is no need for him to synthesize an excellent character card. As commanded, Wei Xian responded, and his deep gaze containing endless killing intent was directly locked on Emperor Tianming. Emperor Tianming's expression changed drastically. The body of Emperor Tianming, condensed. Without any hesitation, Senan's martial emperor power shot straight into the sky, and his figure continued to expand at a speed visible to the naked eye. Just the blink of an eye. Emperor Tianming turned into a thousand-foot giant with a cold light all over his body. The thousand-foot-high giant stood in the sky and the earth, like the god of death coming from Juyu, exuding an extremely terrifying cold aura. Wei Xian's face was expressionless. He smiled faintly, put his hands together, and the power of the stars in the sky poured down like a waterfall, and finally poured directly into Wei Xian's body. With the blessing of the power of these stars, Wei Xian's body also surged at an extremely terrifying speed. Very quickly, Wei Xian's body was also raised thousands of feet tall, and his whole body was filled with a terrifying star power. Emperor Tianming's eyes were extremely gloomy. Facing this powerful top-level martial emperor, Emperor Tianming struck directly, waving his black fist like a hill, and punched Wei Xian without any fancy. That moment, the space in front of Emperor Tianming continued to collapse at a speed visible to the naked eye, and endless black fist light surged toward Wei Xian overwhelmingly. Break, Wei Xian's eyes were dull, and the fist that contained the power of the bright stars struck directly at him. Boom, two terrifying punches collided in the void and a wave of air that destroyed the world instantly swept across. Emperor Tianming's body, which was thousands of feet long, stepped back more than ten steps in the void. Every time his huge foot took a step, it opened a space crack in the void that was as large as a hundred feet. Before he could stabilize his body, Wei Xian's terrifying fist struck him again. Boom boom boom. The two giants were like gods, constantly fighting in the void, causing mountains and rivers to shatter, the sun and moon to hang upside down, and the heaven and earth to tremble. But, throughout the process, Emperor Tianming was almost suppressed to death and could only struggle to hold on under Wei Xian's powerful offensive. So, such terrifying strength. Looking at the scene in front of them, even Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu couldn't help but take a breath. Emperor Tianming, Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu knew each other very well. This one broke through to the martial emperor one or two thousand years earlier than the two of them. His cultivation has already reached the high-level martial emperor, and his strength can be described as unfathomable. If it were a one-on-one -on -one fight, none of them would be the opponent of Emperor Tianming. But the mysterious martial emperor in front of him beat the emperor of heaven and Ming to the point where he was almost unable to fight back. Such strength is truly terrifying. Under the gazes of Yiling Tian and the others, the battle in the void continued. Boom! Another shocking confrontation. The supreme power contained in Wei Xian's punch completely shattered Emperor Tianming's power, and then hit Emperor Tianming's thousand-foot-long imperial body. Emperor Tianming's thousand-foot-long imperial body was suddenly blasted with a huge hole. Dark red blood, like raindrops, fell from the void. Emperor Tianming suppressed his injuries, looking shocked and angry. The combat power of the guy in front of him was so strong that it made Tian Ming, a high-level martial emperor, despair. Not to mention, beside them were Emperor Qing Lei and Emperor Kang Yu, who were looking at each other eagerly. If he continues to fight with this guy, he will probably die today. Emperor Tian Ming's eyes flickered slightly. He ignored Wei Xian, who punched him again, and decisively abandoned his body. 
his soul turned into a black light and sank into the void, and then shot towards Yiling Tian. This mysterious martial emperor is obviously Yiling Tian's man. At this point, he had no choice but to make a desperate move. If he could take Yiling Tian's life into his own hands, there might be a glimmer of hope. Boom! At the moment Emperor Tianming abandoned his imperial body, Wei Xian's fist fell directly on Emperor Tianming's body, shattering his thousand-foot-long imperial body into nothingness. My lord, be careful! Wei Xian also instantly understood Emperor Tianming's intention, his expression changed slightly, and he couldn't help but look towards Yiling Tian fiercely. He obviously didn't expect it either. Emperor Tianming would abandon his body so decisively and attack Yiling Tian directly with his soul. A high-ranking martial emperor. Even if only the soul is left, it is still a very powerful existence, enough to instantly kill any strong person under the martial emperor. This guy is really a cruel person. Seeing Emperor Tianming abandoning his body and coming towards him, Yiling Tian was also shocked. This scene happened so suddenly that Yiling Tian didn't even have time to combine the character cards. Qinglian Sword Domain Yiling Tian didn't hesitate at all, and directly activated the Qinglian Sword Domain with all his strength, covering the surrounding void of thousands of feet. Next moment, Yiling Tian sensed a slight spatial fluctuation in the void a hundred feet away to his right. Without any hesitation, he activated the Heavenly Emperor Sword and slashed out with one strike. Call out! A terrifying golden sword light slashed straight out with the immortal sword intent. Rumble! The golden sword light and the green lotus sword domain were shattered at the same time, and the soul of Emperor Tianming who disappeared into the void also appeared at this moment. He looked up at Yiling Tian in front of him, his expression looking horrified. Ching, Qinglian sword domain, you, dot you actually got the inheritance of Qinglian sword immortal. Qinglian sword immortal, a mythical character in the legend of Beidou Tianyu. He is also the only being in the Beidou Heavenly Territory who has broken through the Martial Emperor level and broken the void to leave the Beidou Heavenly Territory like a swordsman. Emperor Tianming has thought about many possibilities. But he never thought that Yiling Tian would have a close relationship with the legendary Qinglian Sword Immortal. With the Qinglian Sword Domain and the Fairy Sword in his hand that surpassed the Emperor Weapon, this kid, with his cultivation in the Martial Saint Realm, blocked his sudden attack and forced his soul out of the void. He decisively gave up his imperial body just because he wanted to take Yiling Tian as a hostage by surprise, but unexpectedly he failed in the end. This moment, Emperor Tianming's face was ashen. No chance. This kid is actually the descendant of Qinglian Sword Immortal. Hearing Emperor Tianming's exclamation, Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu recovered from the shock for a while. No wonder Yiling Tian could help them break the formation of Tianming Emperor Palace. No wonder there is a top-level martial emperor protecting Yiling Tian. It turns out that there is a legacy left by the Qinglian Sword Immortal in the Beidou Heavenly Domain. Emperor Tianming, come and die. Wei Xian let out an angry roar and immediately crushed the world with one step, appearing directly on top of Emperor Tianming's head. He used imperial law again and enveloped Emperor Tianming's soul in an instant. Next moment. Emperor Tianming's soul became illusory and transparent at a speed visible to the naked eye. Just for a moment, the soul of Emperor Tianming completely dissipated between heaven and earth. When Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu saw this, their hearts were filled with silence. Emperor Tianming, this high-level martial emperor, who had been invincible in the Beidou realm for thousands of years, died like this. Mr. Yi, thank you for your help in what happened today. Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu took a deep breath, and both solemnly thanked Yiling Tian. But, while the two of them thanked Yiling Tian, they also maintained a bit of vigilance in their hearts. This descendant of the Qinglian Sword Immortal not only has great fighting prowess, but is also accompanied by a top-level martial emperor. Even Emperor Tianming was easily killed by the opponent. If this top-level martial emperor takes action against the two of them, they may not be able to stop it even if they work together. You two senior martial emperors, you don't have to be polite. Yi Lingtian smiled slightly and said, Emperor Tianming colludes with foreign races. As a member of the human race of Beidou Tianyu, I naturally will not stand idly by. He exchanged a few words with Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kangyu. Yi Lingtian left the affairs of Tianming Emperor Palace to Wei Xian and left directly. Next, the Tianming Emperor's Palace, 
one of the three great emperor level forces in the Beidou Tianyu, collapsed under Wei Xian's strong suppression. The strong men in the Tianming Emperor's palace were dying and running away. Some of them chose to surrender to the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, which added a full 300,000 immortal dynasty points to Yiling Tian. After solving the matter in Tianming Emperor Palace, under the operation of Wei Xian and others, the Qingyun Holy Dynasty also held a Grand Dynasty Establishment Ceremony. That day, almost all the top forces in Beidou Tianyu gathered at Liang Holy Mountain to participate in the founding ceremony of Qingyun Holy Dynasty. Even Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kang Yu came to congratulate him in person. The Qingyun Holy Dynasty founding ceremony, the rankings were directly filled. Under Wei Xian's arrangement, Yiling Tian spent most of the day tossing the matter before concluding this Grand Dynasty establishment ceremony. It's finally over. Yiling Tian lay down on the chair with a slightly tired look, and he breathed a sigh of relief. Next time. Yiling Tian was determined not to let Wei Xian hold any grand ceremony. After all this tossing, it was simply more tiring than fighting against a strong warrior from the Emperor realm. He glanced at the three figures following him. These three Taoist figures are Yu Wushuang, Yi Lin and Tuo Bazan. The Qingyun Holy Dynasty was established. Yu Wushuang, who had come to Beidou Tianyu a long time ago, rushed to Liang Holy Mountain immediately. Even Yi Lin and Tuo Bazan of the Qingye Domain had taken care of the affairs of the Qingye Domain and came to attend the founding ceremony of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. Wushuang, now that the founding ceremony of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty has ended, you have nothing to do if you stay here. Next, I will give you a task as my master. Yi Ling Tian looked at the three of them and couldn't help but smile and said. What mission, master, you are hiring child labor. I am just an 18-year-old girl. Is it appropriate for you to assign me a task? Yu Wushuang glanced at Yi Lin and said calmly, If Master has any important tasks, leave it to Junior Brother. He should be more reliable than me. She had no interest in carrying out Yi Ling Tian's mission. Since there was nothing wrong with Qingyun Holy Dynasty, Yu Wushuang decided to continue going out. Crushing the so-called genius of Beidou Tianyu underground is much more exciting than the task assigned to him by his master. Simple. I just want you to go out and have fun, and get on the ranking list. Yi Ling Tian said with a smile. I want to see your names in the top three on the divine list, or even the top three on the holy list. Is there any problem? Um, Yu Wushuang was stunned for a moment. Is this the mission assigned to me by master? No problem. Yu Wushuang agreed directly without thinking. She originally wanted to go out and challenge those strong men of the same level in Beidou Tianyu. The task Yi Ling Tian gave him was simply too good. After sending away the three men of Zuo Yu Wushuang, Yi Ling Tian became more leisurely in the following days, just signing in and lying down in the sun every day. Sister Tongzi, sign in. Ding, the sign in is successful. Congratulations to the owner for getting six peerless Yi Qinglian fragment cards. On this day, Yi Ling Tian started daily sign in, and finally signed in again to get a peerless character fragment card. Not bad, I finally signed in and got a peerless character card. Yi Ling Tian perked up, check into the system daily, and the chance of obtaining peerless fragments is really low. In so many days, Yi Ling Tian only signed two peerless character fragment cards. Peerless level Yi Mo, the peerless Yi Qinglian, Sister Tongzi, can't you just exchange 30 peerless universal fragment cards to synthesize peerless character cards? Yi Ling Tian was a little helpless. Keep it up like this. In the future, what he may lack is not immortal dynasty points, but peerless character fragment cards. No, only the boss named Yi who has been signed in by the owner can use the universal fragment card to supplement the synthesis. But master, don't worry. When the level of immortal dynasty continues to increase, the system synthesis function will be upgraded, and there will be other ways to obtain peerless or even mythical character cards. Loli Tongzi explained. When Yi Ling Tian heard this, his eyes couldn't help but light up slightly. Just when he was about to ask, Loli Tongzi's voice kept ringing in his mind. Ding, Yu Wushuang defeated Yang Wei and ranked 37th on the Beidou Heavenly Domain God list. Congratulations to the master for earning a large number of immortal dynasty points. Ding, Tuo Bazan defeated Lu Piao Piao and ranked 41st on the Beidou Heavenly Domain God list. Congratulations to the master for earning a large number of immortal dynasty points. 
Ding. Yi Lin defeated Wang Tang and ranked 49th on the Beidou Heavenly Domain God list. Congratulations to the master for earning a large number of Immortal Dynasty points. Obviously, after Yu Wushuang and the others received the tasks assigned to them by Yi Lingtian, they all started the crazy ranking mode. And Yi Lingtian's Immortal Dynasty points are also growing steadily. Just a few days, all three of them have reached the top 50 on the god list. The three of them are all supreme geniuses with peerless immortal bodies. Even in the main world of Xuanwang, they are very rare existences. With their talents, they would almost kill indiscriminately in the same realm. Even the emperor-grade genius of Beidou Tianyu is far from being able to compare with the three of them. The next period of time. Yi Lingtian almost always receives notifications from the system, and the rankings of Yu Wushuang and the others on the god list are constantly improving. About half a month later, Yu Wushuang and the others almost reached the top 10 on the Beidou Heavenly Domain's god list, shocking the entire Beidou Heavenly Territory. Almost the entire Beidou Heavenly Territory knew that three peerless evildoers had emerged from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, and they were killing each other on the Beidou Heavenly Territory god list. It only took less than a month for them all to reach the top 10 on the god list. Among them, Yu Wushuang, who ranks at the top, is ranked 6th on the god list. What shocked everyone the most was. Yu Wushuang, who is ranked 6th on the god list, is still a little girl of 8 or 9 years old. At the age of 8 or 9, he was killing people on the Beidou Heavenly Domain god list. This was so abnormal that it was unbelievable. The famous top Holy Land level force in the Beidou Heavenly Territory, its founder Wan Zhangyi was once a famous sword emperor in the Beidou Heavenly Territory. That's why, in terms of strength and status, the 10,000 Swords Holy Sect is even better than the Zhang clan in White Emperor City. It is even known as the first Holy Sect among the three Great Emperor level forces. It is extremely powerful. The current number one on the god list in Beidou Tianyu is the Swordsman Genius from the 10,000 Swords Saint Sect. The first sword star on the god list. The only emperor grade genius in the 10,000 swords saint sect, he has unparalleled talent in swordsmanship, possesses a rare star sword body, and has unrivaled combat power. At the level of martial god realm, even the geniuses of the three great emperor level forces were suppressed by Jian Xingqin and could not hold their heads up. Palace of Stars, an independent hall located in the residence of the disciples of the Wanjian Saint Sect is the residence given to Jian Xingqin by the Wanjian Saint Sect. At this moment, in the back garden of the Star Hall, there are two extraordinary men sitting at a stone table playing high-grade tea and playing chess. Xingqin, the Qingyan Holy Dynasty has produced three peerless monsters. In less than a month, they have all reached the top ten on the Beidou Heavenly Domain God list. They are about to break through the god list. What do you think about this? The speaker was a middle-aged man who looked to be in his early fifties. The middle-aged man has a very ordinary face, he looks ordinary and has nothing special about him. But as long as Beidou Tianyu knows this middle-aged man, almost everyone is in awe of him. Thunderwood Sword Saint Lu Bufin. Using a piece of lightning struck wood as a sword, he fought all over the world in the Beidou Heavenly Domain, with few opponents. He was ranked among the top three on the holy list a hundred years ago. It can be said, under the martial emperor realm, no one in the entire Beidou realm dared to say that they could stabilize Lu Bufin. While Lu Bufin was speaking, the sunspot in his hand slowly fell down and he looked up at the young man opposite. The young man had handsome features, eyes as bright as stars, and seemed to exude an arrogance that was difficult to conceal in his every move. The young man was none other than Jian Xingqin, the strongest genius of the 10,000 Swords sect and number one on the divine list. Master, don't worry, before I broke through to the martial saint realm, there was no one in the Beidou heavenly realm who could break through the god list. The white child in Jian Xingqin's hand slowly fell, and his calm tone revealed unparalleled confidence, as if he didn't take this matter to heart at all. Don't be careless, Lu Bufin shook his head and said in a deep voice. These three peerless evildoers from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty are not simple. During this period, Lu Bufin paid a lot of attention to this matter. Especially Yu Wushuang, who is only eight or nine years old, but has such terrifying strength. This is simply incredible, such a young martial god realm is unheard of even in the history of Beidou Tianyu. Jian Xingqin looked proud, he was about to speak when a pleasant child's voice suddenly echoed in the sky above the Ten Thousand Swords sect. 
Qingyin Holy Chao Yu Wushuang, come to challenge the first sword star on the divine list. This sudden sound not only caused the entire 10,000 swords saint sect to be in an uproar, but even Jian Xingqin and the other two were obviously stunned. Jian Xingqin put down the chess piece in his hand, and his two gazes penetrated the obstacles like sharp swords and landed on a void outside the Wanjian saint sect. There, astonishingly, there were three Taoist shadows standing in the air. The first person is a little girl with extraordinary temperament and unparalleled appearance. Yu Wushuang. Jian Xingqin narrowed his eyes slightly. He really didn't expect that Yu Wushuang would dare to come to the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect to challenge him. Snort, it's just a wishful thinking for a little girl to want to kill all the gods and win the first place on the god list. Jian Xingqin snorted coldly, and his whole body turned into a star sword light, and appeared in front of Yu Wushuang. As the number one on the Beidou Heavenly God list, he is almost invincible in the same realm. Jian Xingqin is not afraid of any genius in Beidou Tianyu. Now that Yu Wushuang comes to challenge, how can Jian Xingqin have any reason to back down? Are you the number one sword star on the divine list? Yu Wushuang glanced at Jian Xingqin who appeared in front of him and asked lightly. I am Jian Xingqin. Jian Xingqin stared at Yu Wushuang coldly. Little girl, it is indeed remarkable that you can break through the god list and be ranked in the top 10 at such an age, but if you want to be the first on the god list, I'm afraid you are a bit too young. Quote. What nonsense are you talking about? This is number one on the divine list, my aunt, I'm going to order it today. Before Yu Wushuang finished speaking, a moonlight sword energy streaked through the void, and all the nebulae were split open by a single sword like a sea tide. The terrifying sword energy penetrated the sky and pointed directly at the sword stars. Yu Wushuang has never been a person who likes nonsense. If you can do it, you will never beep. He took action directly and neatly, and once he did it, it was earth-shattering. Facing Yu Wushuang's shocking sword, Jian Xingqin looked calm, and an ancient sword shining with the brilliance of stars appeared out of thin air in his hand. Call out! A bright star sword energy also cut through the world and collided fiercely with Yu Wushuang's sword. Boom! The void exploded and chaos flew. The terrifying sword energy swept away, like a goddess scattering flowers, rushing in all directions, cutting the surrounding space into countless space fragments. Jian Xingqin stepped back three steps in the void. Looking at Yu Wushuang, who was even less than half a step back than himself, Jian Xingqin's eyes instantly became much more solemn. He broke through to the martial god realm in his thirties. He reached the intermediate level of martial god at the age of less than forty years old, and with the cultivation of the intermediate level of martial god, he aspired to be the first in the god list. All the time, sword stars are all with the cultivation level of the middle-level martial god, and can easily suppress the high-level martial god and the top-level martial god of Beidou Tianyu. Now in a fight with Yu Wushuang, a little girl who is a junior martial god, she is still slightly at a disadvantage. This is definitely the first time ever. This moment. Jian Xingqin's expression also became extremely solemn. An expert will know if there is one as soon as he takes action. The little girl in front of him is definitely the most powerful existence among the opponents of the same realm he has encountered over the years. Yu Wushuang, you are worthy of being the youngest person in the martial god realm in the history of Beidou Tianyu. You are indeed amazing. When Jian Xingqin spoke, the power of the stars in the sky continued to gather towards him at this moment. Come last, the power of these stars directly turned into star sword rays, like a swimming dragon, surrounding the sword stars. The sword star stood proudly, its eyes were cold, like a heavenly sword that penetrated the heaven and earth. But, no matter how powerful you are, you can't even think of taking the top spot on the god list from my sword, Xingqin. The words have not yet fallen. Jian Xingqin raised his hand and struck out with his sword. Call out. The star sword light surrounding the sword star instantly gathered into a star sword, like a peerless sword that split the nine heavens, and slashed out at Yu Wushuang. This sword is like the stars falling from the sky, so majestic that one cannot reach the end. As soon as this sword comes out, the world will be eclipsed. What a, such a strong sword. Senior brother Xingqin is worthy of being number one on the god list and an invincible swordsman genius under the martial saint. Quote dot 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 quote. Countless people in the 10,000 swords saint sect were amazed. Ever since Jian Xingqin ranked first on the god list, he has rarely made any moves. 
Even in the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect, no one knows how terrifying Jian Xingqin's current combat power is. When Yu Wushuang came to challenge, they finally saw it. This sword that cuts across the starry sky is probably enough to defeat a strong person in the martial saint realm. Yu Wushuang looked indifferently, her white little hand moved slightly, and a silver ancient sword appeared out of thin air. Immediately, the silver ancient sword was slightly unfolded, the tip of the sword pointed at the sky, and the sword moved the sky directly. Next moment, Yu Wushuang swung his sword directly. Rumble, a loud noise suddenly erupted in the void. There seemed to be an immortal gate opening on the sky, and a white shadow stepped out of the immortal gate. The white skirt is fluttering, peerless, like a fairy coming out of the moon palace. She looked down at the Jian Xingqin below with indifferent eyes, and slashed out at the Jian Xingqin from a distance. This sword seems plain and has nothing special about it. But just such a simple sword made Jian Xingqin vaguely feel the threat of death. Star Sword Intent Ten Thousand Swords Unite Jian Xingqin roared angrily and performed two unique moves one after another. However, Jian Xingqin's two unique moves were as fragile as paper under Yu Wushuang's sword. Click, click, as two crisp sounds resounded in the void, Jian Xingqin's powerful offensive turned into little stars and dissipated. But Yu Wushuang's simple sword slashed at him with overwhelming force. Jian Xingqin looked extremely frightened. At this moment, he didn't even have time to dodge, and could only watch the sword light continue to enlarge in his pupils. Well, just when Jian Xingqin was about to be hit by the sword light, a slight sigh suddenly came from the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect. Buzz, I saw a burst of space fluctuations suddenly rippling where Jian Xingqin was. The sword light of the slashing sword star also suddenly solidified at this moment. Immediately afterwards, an ordinary-looking middle-aged man appeared directly next to Jian Xingqin. Master, seeing Master Lu Bufin appear, Jian Xingqin couldn't help but reveal a bitter smile. If the master takes action, it means that he loses this battle. He had just vowed that no one could take the top spot on the god list, but he didn't expect to be slapped in the face in an instant. My teacher has told you a long time ago that there are people outside the world and there is heaven outside the world. Don't be too conceited by thinking that you want to be number one on the god list. Lu Bufin shook his head. He looked up at Yu Wushuang and said with a smile, Yu Wushuang, if you win this battle, how about I surrender to you on behalf of Jian Xingqin? Yu Wushuang nodded and said nothing more. She returned directly to Yilin and to Obazan and said calmly, I'm done, which one of you comes first? Let me do it. Tuo Bazan shook his feather fan lightly, then took a step forward and came straight to Jian Xingqin and Lu Bufin. Tuo Bazan of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty comes to challenge the Sword Star of the Ten Thousand Swords Saint Sect. The faint voice kept echoing in the sky above the Ten Thousand Swords Saint Sect, causing everyone in the Ten Thousand Swords Saint Sect to burst into an uproar. Just now Yu Wushuang challenged Jian Xingqin and defeated the myth in their minds with a peerless sword, which made them still unable to recover from the shock. Now Tuo Bazan has challenged Jian Xingqin again. Are these three monsters from Qingyun Holy Dynasty planning to challenge Jian Xingqin and defeat Jian Xingqin once each? You, what do you mean? Jian Xingqin stared at Tuo Bazan, his face becoming extremely ugly. That's literally what it means. Tuo Bazan smiled slightly and said, for the sake of fairness, I can give you some time to return to your peak condition. Jian Xingqin took one step forward and was about to fight Tuo Bazan. Xingqin, don't be impulsive. Lu Bufin grabbed Jian Xingqin's shoulders and frowned slightly. As the top genius of the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect and number one on the Beto Heaven Realm God list, Jian Xingqin is such a proud existence. Today's defeat to Yu Wushuang was already a big blow to him. If he loses again, Jian Xingqin's martial Dao's heart may be affected by it. Master, I know what you are worried about, but if I shrink from this battle, I will not be able to pass the test in my heart. Jian Xingqin's eyes were cold. His Jian Xingqin is the one who has aspired to be number one on the god list. Even if he was defeated at the hands of Yu Wushuang today, no one could bully him. Jian Xingqin really didn't believe that Tuo Bazan could be as evil as Yu Wushuang. His sword, Xingqin, would never fall in the same place twice. Well, Lu Bufin opened his mouth and let out a sigh again, and then a burst of power entered Jian Xingqin's body, allowing him to instantly return to his peak state. Thank you, Master. 
Jian Shengchen glanced at Lu Bufin with some gratitude, and his sharp sword-like gaze was directed towards Tuo Bazan. Come on, let me see what you are capable of. As you wish. Tuo Bazan's feather fan was gently waving, and verses like Sanskrit verses were continuously spit out from his mouth. One word makes the wind thunder. The poem shocked the world. Destroy the soul with a fan. God also returns to nothingness. All of a sudden, thirty golden fonts turned into a huge formation, enveloping the sword stars. The formation was surging with wind and thunder, and it seemed like thousands of troops and horses were coming to fight towards Jian Xingqin. This, what power is this? Jian Xingqin's pupils couldn't help but shrink suddenly. As a peerless genius of the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect, Jian Xingqin has seen a lot, but he has never seen such a weird offensive. Speak Sanskrit sounds. Every word and sentence contains extremely terrifying power. Jian Xingqin did not dare to be careless in the slightest, and quickly took action with all his strength, displaying his strongest sword, hoping to defeat the strange formation formed by thirty golden fonts. However, this strange formation remained motionless and impregnable under Jian Xingqin's powerful offensive. Instead, he was seriously injured by the force of the rebound of these golden fonts. Grass, what exactly is this power? Jian Xingqin was shocked and angry. If this continues, he may really suffer two consecutive defeats today. Looking at the dazzling golden fonts around him, Jian Xingqin's mentality collapsed. These guys from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty are all perverts who cannot be measured by common sense. This kid is so weird. Lu Bufin looked at the scene in front of him with an incredible shock in his eyes. It is not difficult to see with his eyesight. The power controlled by Tuo Bazan is completely different from that of Xuanwang Great World Marshal Dao. But, the world is so vast and full of wonders. Although the Xuanwang Great World is dominated by Marshal Dao practice, Marshal Dao is by no means a form of practice in this world. The cultivation method mastered by Tuo Bazan can be said to be unpredictable, and it is even much better than the cultivation method of Marshal Dao in Xuanwang Great World. Although Tuo Bazan's aura is equivalent to the level of the primary martial god. But this weird method left Jian Xingqin helpless. Keep it up like this. Sooner or later, Jian Xingqin will be consumed to death by this formation composed of golden fonts. Lu Bufin came back to his senses, had to smile bitterly, and said again, Tuo Bazan, you won this battle, I will surrender to you on behalf of Jian Xingqin. When Tuo Bazan heard this, he waved his feather fan gently. Thirty golden fonts turned into dots of golden light and slowly dissipated in the void. Jian Xingqin's eyes were dull and his face was blank. He failed again. He was a peerless genius of the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect and the strongest person on the Beidou Heavenly Domain God list, but he was pushed to the ground and rubbed twice in a row. How can the always proud Jian Xingqin accept this? Um, can you fight again? Just before Jian Xingqin recovered from the huge blow, a weak voice rang in his ears again. Jian Xingqin looked along the sound and saw a handsome young man slowly coming to him. The handsome young man is the last of the three peerless evildoers of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, Yi Lin. Quote dot 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 quote. Looking at the harmless young man in front of him, Jian Xingqin felt like ten thousand grass and mud horses rushing past his heart. Grass, you people from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, can you please stop catching me, Jian Xingqin, plundering wool all by myself. Not only have my hair been stripped bare by you, but even my bird feathers are about to be ripped out by you. My little friend, I admit defeat to you on behalf of Xingqin, so this battle can be avoided. When Lu Bufin saw this, he could only say helplessly. The three evil geniuses of Qingyun Holy Dynasty are all monsters that cannot be described by common sense. Since Yi Lin dares to challenge at this time, I'm afraid he won't be much inferior to the two in front. If Jian Xingqin accepted the challenge, he would probably lose. In this case, it is better to take the initiative to admit defeat. Although it is difficult for Jian Xingqin to accept defeat just like this, it is still much better than suffering physical and mental torture again. Although Jian Xingqin was unwilling, he had to accept this fact in the end. Hearing Lu Bufin's words, Yi Lin couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. Did you win again, last time? They went to another holy land to challenge, and Yu Wushuang and Tuo Bazan went up first. As a result, when it was his turn, his opponent took the initiative to admit defeat, and he directly entered the top ten on the god list. 
Now he challenged Jian Xingqin, and he won again. This time, Yi Lin was undoubtedly the easiest one to take part in the rankings ordered by his master. He ranked among the top three on the ranking list without even making any moves. Let's go back and give orders to master. When Yu Wushuang saw this, she didn't say much and greeted Yi Lin and the others to leave. First go back to the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, go to Master's Hongmeng Tower to practice for a few days, raise your cultivation to the top level martial god, then break through the martial saint and continue to challenge the saint list. Limu, the Qingyun Holy Dynasty has insulted your disciples so much, and you are going to let them go like this. At this moment, a man in palace attire with a profound aura suddenly appeared next to Lu Bufin, his expression looking extremely gloomy. Three peerless monsters from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty came to challenge. Their 10,000 sword saint sect's leader, Jian Xingqin, suffered an unprecedented three consecutive defeats. If this news spreads, the prestige of the 10,000 sword saint sect in the Beidou Heavenly Territory may be greatly affected. If not, Lu Bufin glanced at the man in palace attire and said calmly, they are just a normal challenge, and they are also from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. What do you think? Qingyun Holy Dynasty. The man in palace attire could not help but change his expression slightly. Although the Qingyun Holy Dynasty was just an emerging force in the Beidou Heavenly Territory, it was established after the destruction of the Burning Sky Holy Land. And, Yi Lingtian, the leader of the Qingyun Holy Pilgrimage, is also the son of Zhang Qingfang, the leader of the Zhang clan in White Emperor City. At the founding ceremony of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, even Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kangyu, two powerful warriors from the Emperor realm, went to congratulate them in person. It can be said, nowadays, in the entire Beidou domain, there is no force that is not afraid of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. Well, why do you think so many peerless monsters suddenly appeared in Qingyun Holy Dynasty? The resentment in the man's heart finally turned into a sigh. During this period, shocking changes occurred one after another in Beidou Tianyu. First, the Burning Heaven Holy Land was destroyed, and then the Tianming Emperor Palace, one of the three great emperor-level forces, also collapsed overnight. These things seem to be related to the sudden rise of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. Although the Ten Thousand Swords Holy Sect is known as the number one holy sect in the Beidou Heavenly Domain, it does not have the guts to become an enemy of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. Lu Bufin shook his head. He didn't know what was going on with Qingyun Holy Dynasty. But he knew one thing very well. The sky in Beidou Tianyu is about to change. Dot dot dot. Qingyun Holy Dynasty. After Yu Wushuang and the others returned to the Qingyun Holy Dynasty from the Ten Thousand Swords sect, Yi Lingtian threw them into the Hongmeng Tower to practice. Looking at his immortal dynasty points, Yi Lingtian was very satisfied. The three of them killed all the way through the god list, directly providing Yi Lingtian with more than one million immortal dynasty points. Now Yi Lingtian's immortal dynasty points have accumulated more than 2.7 million. It is more than enough to synthesize three peerless character cards. With so many immortal dynasty points, it's time to synthesize a few permanent martial emperor cards and create a few more martial emperors. Yi Lingtian's eyes flashed. Create a few more martial emperors, upgrade the Qingyun Holy Dynasty to the Qingyun Imperial Dynasty, sweep across the entire Beidou Heavenly Territory with absolute power, and make the entire Beidou Heavenly Territory surrender under the feet of the Qingyun Imperial Dynasty. Yi Lingtian looked at the list of strong men under the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. In the Beidou Tianyu, most of the people from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty belong to the former Burning Sky Holy Land. Although these guys have surrendered, not many have a loyalty level above 90. Compared with some people in the Northern Wasteland, their loyalty is far behind. In the Northern Wasteland, there are even those whose loyalty reaches 100 and are absolutely loyal to him. For example, Huang Ying of the Great Huang Dynasty. Yi Lingtian only has one requirement for using permanent character cards, and that is loyalty. Yi Lingtian pondered for a moment, then directly called Wei Xian in front of him and asked him to go to the Northern Wilderness Territory to bring Huang Ying and the other four people to the Beidou Heavenly Territory. Create four more top-level martial emperors. By the time. Isn't it easy for the Qingyun Holy Dynasty to dominate the Beidou Heavenly Domain? Wei Xian has always been extremely efficient. In less than half a day, the four people designated by Yi Lingtian were brought back to the Beidou Heavenly Territory from the Northern Wilderness Territory. 
These four people are Huang Ying from the Great Wild Dynasty, Duan Yu from the Tianchen Dynasty, Tuo Bahang, the ancestor of the Hanfang Dynasty, and a Qingyan guard named Yi Tong. The loyalty of the four people has reached 100. Greetings to the Lord. When the four of them saw Yi Ling Tian, they all knelt down in front of Yi Ling Tian respectfully. Everyone, get up. Yi Ling Tian waved his hand and said with a smile, Wei Xian should have told you the purpose of why I asked you to come to Beidou Tianyu, right? Thank you, Lord, for your love. We are willing to swear allegiance to the Lord to the death, and go through fire and water, even to the death. The four major expressions were filled with excitement. Before coming to Beidou Tianyu, Wei Xian had already told them everything. Yi Ling Tian has the power to make people instantly become martial emperors. The purpose of summoning them this time is to make them become martial emperors directly. Wu Emperor Realm This was a realm they had never dared to imagine before. Even if you become a martial emperor in this way, you will stay in the martial emperor realm forever, but so what? With their martial Tao talent. If you rely on your own practice, the hope of breaking through to the martial god realm is extremely slim, let alone reaching the martial emperor realm. Now that they can easily possess the power of the Emperor Realm, what else are they dissatisfied with? Yi Ling Tian was able to choose them because of his trust in them. This moment, the four people's loyalty to Yi Ling Tian at this moment has almost reached an unprecedented height. Yi Ling Tian is the god in their hearts. Even if Yi Ling Tian tells them to die, they will never frown. Even if their own father comes, he can't stop them. Yi Ling Tian didn't talk nonsense either. He directly consumed more than 300,000 immortal dynasty points to synthesize four permanent outstanding character cards, which were designated for use by the four Wangying people. Plus Wei Xian, Qingyun Holy Dynasty instantly had five martial emperors. And each one has the combat power of a top-level martial emperor, a nearly invincible existence in the fairyland. Yi Ling Tian originally wanted Wei Xian and others to directly sweep across the Beidou Heavenly Territory and make the entire Beidou Heavenly Territory surrender to the feet of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, but Tuo Bazan stopped him. My lord, there has never been an era of great unification in the Beidou Heavenly Territory. Although the Qingyun Holy Dynasty now has the power to sweep across the Beidou Heavenly Territory, if it takes action directly like this, it will definitely be resisted by many forces, and the entire Beidou Heavenly Territory will probably be severely damaged by this. Yi Ling Tian nodded slightly. He naturally understood what Tuo Bazan meant. Now that there are traces of alien races in both the Northern Wilderness Territory and the Beidou Heaven Territory, the alien races may soon make a comeback. The main enemy of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty is not the human race of Beidou Tianyu, but the alien races that are about to be born. Even if we really want to unify the Beidou Heavenly Territory, we must preserve the strength of the Beidou Heavenly Territory as much as possible. Forget it, we can discuss this later. Yi Ling Tian thought about it and decided not to use force to suppress Beidou Tianyu. The following days, Yi Ling Tian also became leisurely again. Every day he just signed in, sipped tea, and basked in the sun. As for cultivation, that is absolutely impossible. Yi Ling Tian's current strength is entirely due to the cultivation level returned by the system's character card. And he has never drawn anything to improve his natural physique. Today he is still a scumbag with king-level talent. Even if he enters the Hongmeng Tower to practice, it will not improve him much. Now that he has countless immortal dynasty points, he can synthesize any outstanding character card at will, and the returned cultivation level is estimated to be enough for him to practice for thousands of years. But, in his spare time, Yi Ling Tian also paid attention to the cultivation situation of Yu Wushuang and the others. These three idiot-like existences practice extremely fast. Just three days, both Yu Wushuang and Yi Lin have reached the top level of martial god. Tuo Ba Zan's aura is not inferior to the top level of martial god. Yi Ling Tian did not let the three of them continue to practice in Hongmeng Tower, and directly released the three of them. After coming out of Hongmeng Tower, Yu Wushuang and the others did not stay in the Qingyun Holy Kingdom for long, and continued their journey to challenge the Holy List. Yi Ling Tian didn't interfere too much. At the founding ceremony of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, Emperor Qinglei and Emperor Kangyu appeared in person to congratulate them, which shocked almost all the forces in the Beidou Tianyu. In today's Beidou Tianyu, there is no force that is not afraid of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. In this Beidou Heavenly Territory, 
no one should dare to bully the people of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. After Yu Wushuang and the others left Qingyun Holy Dynasty, there was almost no movement in the first five days. Until the beginning of the sixth day, Yu Wushuang and the three of them all used the top-level martial god cultivation to defeat the strong men in the martial saint realm, and once again became famous in the Beidou Tianyu. Day 8, Yu Wushuang took the lead in breaking through the martial saint realm. Very quickly, Yi Lin and Tuo Bazan also gained the strength of the martial saint realm. Immediately afterwards, the three of them once again started their journey to climb the rankings. Ten days later, Yu Wushuang and three others successfully challenged and entered the Beidou Heavenly Domain Holy List. The entire Beidou Tianyu was in an uproar. The three peerless evildoers of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty were still fresh in their minds about how they killed the God List half a month ago. Didn't expect such a short time. These three guys actually broke through the martial saint realm one after another and entered the Beidou Heaven Realm Saint List with great strength. They are simply evil to the extreme. These three guys from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty are not going to break through the Holy List again, are they? Countless Saint List experts could not help but tremble when they got to Little West Lake. Dot dot dot. 10,000 Swords Saint Sect. After Jian Xingqin was defeated by Yu Wushuang and Tuo Bazan, his whole body was deeply hit. But, as a peerless genius of the Ten Thousand Swords Saint Sect, who once aspired to be number one on the God List, Jian Xingqin was naturally not an ordinary person, and he did not recover because of this. During this period, Jian Xingqin worked hard and practiced hard, and his strength in all aspects was greatly improved. Even the cultivation level has been upgraded from the middle level martial god to the high level martial god. Jian Xingqin was in high spirits and felt like he was doing well again. After he came out of seclusion, he immediately came to Master Lu Bufin's residence, preparing to ask Lu Bufin for instructions to go to the Qingyun Holy Dynasty to challenge Yu Wushuang and get the number one spot on the God list back from Yu Wu's hands. Are you going to Qingyun Holy Dynasty to challenge Yu Wushuang? When Lu Bufin heard this, he couldn't help but smile bitterly and said, There is no need to challenge her, you are now number one on the God list again. Master, what do you mean by this? Jian Xingqin was stunned for a moment. He has been practicing in seclusion during this period, so naturally he knows nothing about the outside world. Lu Bufin sighed softly and said, Not long ago, Yu Wushuang and the others broke through to the martial saint realm, and now they have entered the saint ranking. He felt a little sympathy for his disciple. Comparing people with each other makes people angry. You said you can't compare with anyone, but you have to compare with those three peerless monsters from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty. To be born in the same era as such a peerless monster is simply a nightmare for all geniuses. Jian Xingqin received a critical hit of 10,000 points again. The three peerless monsters from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty have all broken through to the martial saint realm. How is this, how is this possible? He remembered it very clearly. Half a month ago, when Yu Wushuang and the others came to challenge him from the 10,000 Swords Saint Sect, they had only the cultivation level of the elementary martial god. How come you broke through to the martial saint realm in just half a month? This is too shocking. It has been a year or two since he broke through to the intermediate martial god. He spent the past half month cultivating crazily and consuming a lot of resources from the 10,000 swords saint sect before he successfully broke through to the high level martial god. Jian Xingqin is full of confidence and vows to defeat Yu Wushuang and others to avenge their previous humiliation. But I didn't expect it. Master Lu Bufin told him that Yu Wushuang and the others had broken through to the martial saint realm and even entered the saint ranking. This horse riding is simply outrageous. This moment. Jian Xingqin fell into deep self-doubt. Are his emperor grade talents and star sword body all fake? Compared with the three monsters of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty, he is simply no different from a scumbag with less than five talents. Lu Bufin glanced at Jian Xingqin. Over the years, Jian Xingqin has always had smooth sailing in the Ten Thousand Swords sect, and has hardly suffered any setbacks. Now that he was attacked by the three monsters from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty one after another, a shadow has been left in his heart. If he can't get out of it, Jian Xingqin may have no hope in Emperor Realm in this life. Lu Bufin sighed in his heart, and just as he was about to speak, a crisp voice suddenly sounded in the sky above the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect. Qingyun Holy Emperor Yi Lin comes to challenge the Thunderwood Sword Master. 
Lu Bufin's eyes couldn't help but condense slightly. It seems that those three guys from Qingyun Holy Dynasty really want to break through the holy list. Stars, there are people in this world, and there are people outside the sky. The talents of those three guys from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty are probably far beyond the level of emperor-grade geniuses. Don't compare with them, keep a good attitude and just be yourself. After Lu Bufin finished speaking, he immediately turned into a sword light and appeared above the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect. He looked at Yi Lin standing proudly in the void and asked with a smile, Little guy, why are you the only one today? Senior sister and the others are going to the Qinglei Emperor sect and the Kangyu Emperor's palace. When Yi Lin was talking, a long sword with a faint green light appeared out of thin air, and then he said very politely, Senior Lei Mu, please give me some advice. Don't take it seriously. It seems that you three little guys are going to take the top three spots on the Beidou Heavenly Domain God list. Lu Bufin shook his head and chuckled. Come on, let me see how powerful you can be after breaking through to the Holy Realm. Yi Lin was not humble either. He stretched out the long sword in his hand, and the hundreds of miles of void instantly changed, turning into a vibrant cyan world. In this world, every plant and tree seems to contain the powerful power of swordsmanship, which is endless and continuous. What a powerful sword master feel! Lu Bufin's eyes were solemn. With a movement of his palm, a three-foot lightning strike tree appeared out of thin air from his palm, and a lightning sword energy that broke through the world was slashed out. Boom boom boom. Suddenly there were bursts of earth-shattering noises in the void, and the sword energy in the sky cut huge cracks in the void, making it impossible for people to see clearly the battle between the two. Within the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect, not only did all the disciples look shocked, but even the powerful martial saints from the Ten Thousand Swords sect looked extremely solemn. Sect Master, what are the origins of these three peerless monsters from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty? It's too outrageous. A high-level martial saint looked at the leading man in palace attire and said Earth Shaker with a shocked expression. Half a month ago, these three peerless monsters from the Qingyun Holy Dynasty pressed the sword Xingqin, number one on the divine list, to the ground and rubbed it, which was shocking enough. I didn't expect today to be half a month later. These three perverts actually have the strength to challenge the holy list. Even Lu Bufin, the third-ranked person on the holy list, seemed to be unable to gain any advantage in the battle. The Qingyun Holy Dynasty is mysterious and unpredictable. These three peerless evildoers have surpassed the category of geniuses. The man in palace clothes flickered his eyes slightly and said slowly, such a heaven-defying growth rate can only be achieved by the reincarnation of the legendary immortal. Immortal reincarnation. All the martial saints of the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect were greatly shocked when they heard this. These three heaven-defying existences of the Qingyun Holy Dynasty are indeed completely beyond their knowledge, and only the reincarnation of immortals can make sense. Just when several martial saints from the Ten Thousand Swords Saint sect were communicating, the terrifying sword power surging in the void suddenly calmed down. I saw the figures of Lu Bufin and Yi Lin slowly emerging in the void. Lu Bufin waved his hand and put away the lightning strike wood in his palm. He looked up at Yi Lin and said with a smile, Little guy, you are very powerful. It is true that there are talented people from generation to generation. The new generation is better than the old ones. You have won this battle. This child was born with a sword body, and it was a sword body that was far more powerful than Jian Xingqin. Although he has not been defeated by Yi Lin, he already knows the outcome of this battle. Yi Lin's sword master domain is too powerful. The power of the sword in the sword domain is endless and continuous. Although Yi Lin's sword power could not defeat him in a short period of time, he could not completely defeat Yi Lin's sword master realm. If this continues, the only result will be that he is eaten alive by Yi Lin. That's why, Lu Bufin admitted defeat calmly. Senior admitted it and said goodbye. Yi Lin hugged Lu Bufin, then turned into a sword light and disappeared into the sky. Yi Lin from Qingyun Holy Dynasty defeated Li Mu Sword Master from Ten Thousand Swords Holy Sect and ranked third on the Holy List. While Yi Lin challenged Lu Bufin, Tuo Bazan came to the Qing Lei Emperor Sect to challenge Lei Wuji, who was second on the Holy List. Lei Wuji is a top level martial saint who practices Thunder Dao. He controls the power of thunder as his domain and masters extremely domineering offensive techniques. Tuo Bazan was not afraid. He speaks according to the law and speaks seven character maxims. 
The supreme Taoism contained in every word crushed Lei Wuji's domineering offensive into nothingness. A seven-character motto, each word is more terrifying than the last. As soon as the seven-character motto came out, Lei Wuji was completely defeated. Tuoba Zan's seven-character motto defeated Lei Wuji, who ranked second on the holy list, and climbed to the second place on the holy list. Kang Yu Emperor Palace, thousands of feet above the void. Yu Wushuang stood proudly with his sword. Opposite her was Han Yu's sword Saint Yu Qingshuang, who was number one on the Beidou Heavenly Domain Saint list. Facing Han Yu's sword Saint Yu Qingshuang, Yu Wushuang used all her strength to open the heavenly gate with one sword and summon the immortal sword. This sword cuts out. Even if Han Yu's sword Saint Yu Qingshuang tried his best, it was simply difficult to resist. In the end, Emperor Kang Yu took action and saved his life. With just one sword move, Yu Wushuang became number one on the holy list. The three pieces of news spread like hurricanes across the Beidou sky, shocking everyone's hearts. The holy list of the Beidou heavenly territory was penetrated by three peerless evildoers of the Qingyun holy dynasty again. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.